everybody. Hey. Hello. I hope you're well. Um, thanks for hanging out with us for the second part of the Necromancer's Regret. Um, so a couple of quick things. We're down two people. Um, so we'll, we'll address the, the lack of our bard and our sorcerer in, in game really quickly, <laughs> but unfortunately Willow and Lucas couldn't be with us today. Steve is running late. Steven, no. <laughs> He'll be here. Because if we don't have our weird cleric, I feel like something would be <laughs> off. I'll let y'all deal with him. Uh... Not, not, my, not my problem, child. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Hallie. Welcome back. Um, hope that this will be... This is, like, perfectly timed for the onset of what seems to be winter here in Ohio. It's very cold here. And right after Halloween. Um, so, uh, also wanted to just very quickly mention that it's a weekend full of games, which I'm very happy about. So we've got this one. Uh, we have our regular Small Terrible No Dragonborn party campaign game tomorrow at 11 a.m. And then at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, I am playing some Blade... I'm playing, not running. I'm playing some Blades in the Dark with some folks over on Mimics, Mimics and Monstrosities uh, on Twitch for Extra Life, the uh, children's hospital uh, and healthcare charity. So, because it is that time of year again. So, um, okay. Now, my question to all of you is, there was a lot that happened in that first part of this adventure. There was a lot. <laughs> There was almost a fight in a field. <laughs> <laughs> there may still be a fight in a field. We'll see. I we'll wasn't see. there for it. I don't know. I wasn't there for it, some of you. You found all of them. So real quick, because there's a lot to this story, but quick recap. They're in the town of Havenstown, this small village uh, near some of the mountains. And they have figured out that, you know, this is supposed to be like a stop on the road. It's supposed to be where you can get some food and have a drink and replenish your rations and your supplies, but the gates were barred. And the group found out that three people have been murdered over the last couple of weeks. Brutal, heinous, horrible murders, eyes and tongues and hearts gone and just awful, awful things. Um, they've killed a halfling named Alon who is engaged to the tavern owner. Uh, they killed an, uh, the apothecary, an older gnome woman named Oda. And then they killed the blacksmith's dad, uh, mo uh, Morg. Sorry. Blech. Can't talk. Too much caffeine or not enough yet. I'll get there. <laughs> so they've gone around. They've done some investigating. Uh, they've, they've asked around town about who and what. And all signs seem to point to the spooky, ooky, creepy manor on the hill uh, that belonged to the Rilan family who no longer live in Havenstown. So... And there's a lot more there. If you, I'm not even going to try to summarize all of it. <laughs> we need our cleric. Stay mad. Get over here. Um, so uh, we ended the last game. Alistair's on the roof of the magpie's nest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Watching the Rolan Manor for weirdness. And there's some weirdness. The rest of you have converged back at the tavern um, with the intention, I believe, to set out in the morning for the manor. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. For myself, it is, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I think our cleric was trying to help someone burn the manor down. He's yeah. like ready to go burn we'll it down. We'll let him figure that out when he gets here. <laughs> he was like, hey, let's go burn this place down. What is fun? You did? No, it's, well, it's more like you want to burn some shit down. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's exactly right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I kind of, kind of got excited about that. I was like, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, we have problems. Um, okay. Good problems. Well, depends. I mean, you can certainly try. Um, <laughs> you know. So, uh, you all, uh, Penelope, when you come into the tavern, you notice that, uh, Jezebel and Hephaestus are not where they said they would be. So uh, I'm going to go look for them. Okay. Thank you for playing along with me for a few <laughs> minutes here <laughs> as I lead you into that. Uh, okay. Yeah, you actually can see that Jezebel's door is propped open and she and Hephaestus are laying flat <laughs> on separate beds and she just kind of waves weakly at you. And she says, I tried a healing spell. It didn't go well. 
<laughs> Classic Jezebel. Yeah. That is my not so subtle way of writing them out of the story. <laughs> <laughs> She just tells you that her face just got a little bit of a sniffle and she tried to fix it and turned it into the flu for both of them. <laughs> Great. So they are out of commission. I love that Kelly thinks that's hilarious. <laughs> just imagine if she just <laughs> turned the sniffle into a virus outbreak. <laughs> yep, yep. That seems about, you know, her, her big thing is the clumsiness and I feel like that's just so appropriate. <laughs> it's a good suggestion. All the world ends. <laughs> I let them know that I'll have some suits sent up for them and I'll let everyone else know that they won't be with us. Okay, there you go. There we go. All right, so now we can move forward. Uh, so with that, what would you all like to do? Uh, I would like to tie a rope through uh, the window that's in Sam's room and just have it ready to just, if I see something, I can just talk the shit out of that thing. So that... Oh, okay. Like an alert system. Got it. Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Underst Got work. it. Yep. I'll and happily then... tie up the other end, set it all up, and then settle down and say my nightly prayers. Okay. With me being a paladin and all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to go buy like a jug of alcohol and get ready for my date. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so let's let's actually tackle that. I think I'm going to go backwards on this one because this is great. So it <laughs> takes a little bit. The snow picks up, and you eventually do see the door of the magpie's nest swing open, and Resh comes in. He's put on a slightly better shirt. <laughs> Just slightly. It doesn't look like he's impress me too much. been at the forge all day, but he still didn't bother to wipe like the soot off one cheek. Turns you on, huh? It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Florida man, clearly. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like he might have filed his tusks a little bit. <laughs> I've thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't feed me this shit and not <laughs> expect me to not role play this out. As much as you're comfortable, though. And he sees you and he just kind of gives you, like, the, the nod and goes over to the bar. And he just... Places an order and just kind of waits. I'll just be here dying of laughter right now. <laughs> I'm going to start taking notes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've done more awkward things. Um, it's not even a thing for me anymore. So he just, he eventually comes over and he puts down another jug of whatever you're drinking. I don't know what it is, but he apparently <laughs> does. Either. Sure. And uh, says, so, so, where are your friends at? They're off somewhere i think upstairs sleeping oh yeah that'd be about right i guess it is kind of nighttime isn't it yeah but you know that's what the nightlife's for staying up enjoying things sure yep sleep is for the week yep <laughs> yep <sighs> so <laughs> Do this a few times, and it, and you'll be able to play it with a pretty straight face. <laughs> I've had extremely awkward imaginary dates with players. It's fantastic. I love it so much. That's the thing they don't put in the DM's manual. <laughs> the date your players? Yeah, you know. Um, he just kind of looks at you, and he goes, So, you in town for long? I don't know yet. You could convince me to stay. How would I do that? See where it goes tonight. I'm not really a words kind of person. In case you can't tell. I noticed. So you just want to get to drinking? Back in my place. I was comfier there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay. He just starts walking out. He doesn't even wait for you. He just <laughs> walks out. I know my own way. Yeah, he just, he's gone. He's <laughs> booking it about as fast as a six and a half foot half work can go. Would you describe him as embarrassed or blushing? No. <laughs> business. <laughs> oh. All business. It's a business matter. It's a, it, it's a, yeah, for right now. Alistair, you do see Rash leave. <laughs> 
followed pretty soon by Penelope. <laughs> Uh, I'm lost for words. It's just like, huh. Hmm. I feel like you should be used to this by now. Yeah, but it surprises him every time. <laughs> oh, that's huh, amazing. Another poor soul. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, anyways. Okay, so well, we could leave it there. Okay. You're content with that? All right. Do it. All right. All right. All right. Um, anything else, uh, Alistair or Zane, before we move on to the morning? No, um, I was quite happy to pray and meditate and wait okay. for a signal. Okay. Uh, I'm going to prepare. I'm uh, just going to put some uh, arrows around ready ink, my longbow, and unsheath my sword. Just be ready. Be ready. Okay. How long are you planning on staying up on the roof? Uh, until when would you say I would get exhausted? You would probably have until around midnight or so, so another four-ish hours. Four-ish hours. Mm -hmm. Basically a watch. The length of a watch. Yeah, I'll I'll take that watch. Okay. Sleep on it. the roof. Sleep on the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, I have a <laughs> a weapon of warning. I'm gonna sleep on the fucking roof on our roof. Sleep on the roof. Okay. Uh, just just uh for a short rest. Okay. You can kind of cat nap. You know, doze yeah. off, wake back up, that kind of thing. Um, I knew this weapon would come in handy. <laughs> that's true. Um. Uh, Hmm. Okay. Make two perception checks for me. Roger. First roll. That's roll one. Oh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> All right. Make the next one. Another die. <laughs> oh. oh shit. Oh no. No way. Put those dice a in. seven. A seven. You need to burn uh, those I, dice. <laughs> uh, which, I don't know if you can see it, but yes. it is. <laughs> nope. Bye, dice. No more. <laughs> oh, your cat is so cute. Um, okay. So you, it, it's a lot colder than you were anticipating, and you, you can brave the elements, but wrapped up in your cloak, kind of you know, buried up in that just so that you can look around and you can still have your uh, peripheral vision, you very quickly fall asleep. And, yep, that's what happens when you roll a nat one on a watch. <laughs> and Zane, you do, the window actually wakes you up because as he falls asleep, he kind of accidentally pulls on the rope a little bit and it jostles the window. Oh, uh, 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 I kind of <laughs> lean out the window and look up and see if it's hanging over uh, you can just see like one arm kind of limp as he's fallen asleep oh for fuck's sake <laughs> <laughs> what can I get uh, let's see I have a spear can I kind of jab him in the hand with it <laughs> <laughs> yes I will allow that yeah, just, uh, remember, I'm a half, so I'm kind of like one arm is clinging You're like onto the leaning window, out the window. Off, yeah. Just, ah. <laughs> yeah, you get pretty soon something sharp pokes you in the bottom of the hand, Alistair. Come here! Ah, we're under attack! <laughs> Lucky you didn't fall off the roof there. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you make a next save. Yeah. I'm gonna choke the. I'm gonna pull on the rope. <laughs> now I will make Zane make a deck save because as he's pulling oh. on the rope, it moves the window and you're half out the window. Oh, I hate you. Uh -huh. It was a reaction. I uh -huh. thought. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you watch oh, Zane man. fall out of the window. <laughs> and just like I... snow angel on the ground. Yeah. Snow I just yelled, fucking dead boy. I'm <laughs> 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 No, you don't take any damage. You're gonna, oh, your back's gonna hurt 
for probably for a little bit, but you're just kind of like, uh, and it's very cold. It's very cold. <laughs> like I just out you there for a minute, stunned. Just uh, yeah. All I'm picturing uh, is Zane, no armor, in like his long johns, like <laughs> out, <laughs> out in the snow. <laughs> and Alice is going to scream down. Don't have to be that fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will say, just as the sun kind of comes up and you all get yourselves resettled, um, Penelope, you come back <laughs> to the tavern. Hey. Um, yeah. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You can... I don't know. You can decide. Maybe you stayed up all night drinking and talking. Clearly. Or he but threw you into a wall. I don't know. Leave it there. <laughs> Take your pick. Yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, Alistair, the only thing you notice as you kind of, like, shake the snow off, because you get a little bit of snow on you, is that there are, uh, footprints on the roof next to you. Dun, dun, dun. Really? They did I'm going a to... A circle around you. Just one set, and that's it. It was just your secret admirer. Wait, no entering or exiting, uh, it's just a <laughs> circle around him, no on or off the roof. Uh, oh. something flew to me. Uh, do I recognize recognize these tracks as humanoid? They look like boots. <laughs> so, definitely humanoid, not claws or, you know, um, anything like that. Not a wolf, not another animal. Definitely booted humanoid footprints. Do I recognize the circle like one of the other victims? Um, no, there doesn't. The only thing that you can kind of get the sense of is that they were just either inspecting you, or curious, or targeting, or could be. Okay, I'm gonna collect my things. Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to. <clears throat> I'm actually I'm going to see if I can see it, anything going on in the mansion just from this distance. Make a perception check, please. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> you said you that before. That. <laughs> uh, 17. 17, better. No. Snow, quiet. The sun is starting to break through the overcast sky a little bit. So you're getting a little bit of daylight, not a lot. Um, it's, no, you don't see anything. Mm. Okay, then I'm going to dust myself off. Okay. And I'm going to... Tie up the other end of the rope onto the roof, and I'm going to Indiana Jones inside the St. John. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So... At this point, I've just kind of walked into the room, just brushed, just kind of sigh as he attempts to Indiana Jones in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You all start to gather your things, and what's the plan? I'm going to ping Steve. Get your coffee, man. Yeah, we're waiting for a cleric here. We can't go without a cleric. Uh, I'm going to inform everybody that there were some strange footprints around where I napped <laughs> up on the roof. And <clears throat> I'm going to ask Zane to cast... What was the thing you used to spot me? I uh, used my divine sense, if I remember right. Yeah. I was going to ask if you could ping anybody else. I I kind of just grumbled to myself, just muttering under my breath about you knocking me off the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> and just, I ping. Okay. Remind me how, with the range on that? It's uh, 60 feet. 60 uh, feet? Yeah, 60 feet. 60 foot radius, okay. Aha, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, you don't get anything. I mean, with us being inside, it's a little less effective, but I still handy. Well, I'm assuming I just get the vague fuzz off Alice. Right. Um, that. <laughs> the, the, vague, the vague bit of energy off of <laughs> your yeah. fighter. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of glare at him again and <laughs> carry on my business. 
It's gonna be like a uh, fight at dawn. <laughs> I mean, we agreed to a duel last time, so yeah. there will be a duel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, <clears throat> while he's glaring at me, I really hope that I have a steak in front of me for breakfast, and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Particularly raw. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it that way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, well, uh, uh, Jesse is with you in his typical um, overzealous, over enthusiastic. Hi, good morning. Did you see all the snow outside? Did you know Jezebel and her faces are really, really sick? And apparently Jezebel did a thing and was just like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> That's too early. <laughs> okay. So. I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to try something. Jesse, could you cut my steak up for me? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Do you, do you want me to use my special cutlery? Uh, they're made out of gold. They're really, really nice. They were a gift from my grandmother and they cut really, really well. How big do you want your pieces? Admit that they regret this. <laughs> Do you want me to feed them to you? Would that help you? No. Are you sure? Thank you. Do you want yes. a foot rub? Yes. Full. Yes, I would love a foot rub. Okay, give me the, give me that. I'll, let me let me cut your stick up first, and then I'll give you a foot rub. And then, does anyone else need anything? Because I feel like I am falling down on the job here a little bit. I'm I'm good. Okay. Bye. You have a, you have like a bruise. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay. Okay, Zane, are you okay? Because you look like your back's kind of hurting. Do you need me to like walk on your back or like crack anything? Or you can walk away if you like. <laughs> that will be fine. <laughs> we need you later. I don't need you now. This is what happens when you don't show up? <laughs> I take your character and mutilate them. All right. So. <clears throat> so. What do you guys th think? Should we head out to the manor at just when we're done eating, or do you guys think we should investigate some more? I mean, yeah. we've stocked up with unwinded in some cases, because while I was lying in the snow, I saw Dean Lope come back in the morning. <laughs> a, a case of. Yeah, what happened? Else we need to do? <laughs> Actually, I saw her leave. This blacksmith rash. Oh, oh, how interesting. Did you, you get a just... late night requisition by any chance? Mm, no, there's not <laughs> going on. Well, I say no more and I just kind of eat. Alice is... <laughs> Alice is going like, ah, the divine hypocrisy. <laughs> it's even made more awkward because Jesse has his little hands on your foot. So this whole scene <laughs> is really weird. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. <laughs> Taking lay on uh, hands to a whole new level. <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm going to ask. Just eat politely to stop rubbing my feet. Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever you want, chief. And I'm going to put back on my boot and just <laughs> get ready to go out in the snow. <laughs> Awkwardly. <laughs> I'll walk away. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, Biro was it? The owner of the Magpie. Yes. <clears throat> I'm actually going to try find her before we head out. Oh yeah, she's she's here. She is running around serving breakfast and coffee and this and that to some of the farmers who have come in. Um, you do see uh, Samuel, uh, Verania's son, uh, come in, shake the snow off of his boots and his cloak and give you all a wave. Uh, you do see Lucilla, the apothecary's apprentice, um, come in and kind of do the same thing and go off and sit by the fire and chat with Samuel for a little bit. Just looks like they're having a friendly conversation. So yeah, Vera's around. Our good friend of Vera. I'm going to do ask Vera if she knows anything about the history of this land. If she knows anything about any flying creatures. Um, no, I... 
the worst that I I have seen or heard stories of is that there used to be some mountain trolls in the area, but this was a while ago, probably years ago, um, and we were lucky enough to have a, a group of, of of adventurers like yourselves who were able to help us fight them off. But no, I'm not. There's no there's no large flying creatures or anything. I think the Honestly, I think the Nerex rocks nest is even hundreds of miles away, so. All right. Thank you, Vera. And again, I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate it. It's nice to be busy. It keeps me from thinking about it too much. Indeed. And I'm going to walk back to the group. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you guys know anything about flying humanoids? No. Who wear boots? <laughs> Don't wear boots, specifically. <laughs> okay. Um, no? I'm not particularly that wear boots, but I, my time with the... All of my time with the road, I... Let me just think. Can I roll any? <laughs> um... I will give you all this. You you are aware of Aarakocras, um, humanoids who have bird uh, genetics in them, uh, who can fly. They legitimately have wings that they can use. Uh, there are lots of uh, magic users. Jezebel is one of them. She can cast fly. Um, there's lots of ways that that would be possible. That does not narrow things down. Yeah, nope. I no. <laughs> it's my a great number of things. Yeah. You just have a stalker. It's fine. I've dealt with stalkers before. Yeah, I've seen you do it. It's horrendous. Yeah, it's, we're not dealing with another stalker. It's messy. Clean up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's not my fault if he has a stalker. <laughs> it's not me this time, at least. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Must be getting infectious. Uh, so you guys want to head out to the manor? See if we can find anything? I mean, sure. We certainly can. It's, uh, I'm all stocked up already. <laughs> My back's feeling better now. Yeah, I, I was wondering, why were you so excited to jump out of the window this morning? <laughs> I just, I was giving out the warning like we spoke about that earlier night, and then I just I took the rope and you came just jumped right, you were ready for that shit. Don't. Stop. You probably thought the snow was the enemy. Oh, that makes sense. The snow may be an enemy, we don't know that yet. <laughs> if your back's still hurting though, I mean, Juzzy could give you a back rub, help it feel better. Oh, I would totally give you a back rub. I'll walk on your back. I'll crack your back. I bet I could pick you up. We're about the same size, except you have your armor on. So, no, I bet I could still do it. What is his that strength? Is fine. Very helpful. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> fine. <laughs> I gotta. He has a zero modifier in strength. So he comes over to you and he wraps his arms around your waist and he's like, "Are you ready, Chief? Because I can totally do this." <laughs> fine. Okay. <laughs> That's a seventeen. He picks you up. And you feel your back up in just the right spot. Yay! Ooh. See? Told you. So, thank you, I suppose. Yeah, anything else? Do you want a foot rub too? Because I gave Alistair a really good one. How is that feeling over there, by the way? Used. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like, well, wasn't what I was going for, but I guess, sure. Just go just looking away, drinking my tea. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So off to the manor, the four of you. Um, it's about a half a mile hike up the hill. Um, you have to be careful with your footing because of the snow, but you can get up there. Is there anything that you're wanting to do on your way up? It's going to take you about 15, 20 minutes to kind of hike through the snow. The snow's slowing you down. Um, or anything you want to keep a lookout for? Just, like, um, look just... for, like, footprints and stuff. See okay. if anyone else has been up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm just scanning the horizon. Just okay. looking for anything. 
Everyone can make a perception check if they would like. Fifteen. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Jazzy got a twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he's not here. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't um, know. I'm worried about your rolling now. <laughs> rolling very well. Uh, I don't like I this. Like this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll give you a little bit. Uh, the sky is still pretty overcast. You're getting a little bit of snow coming down on you, but nothing too, you know, it's not blinding you. Uh, and the trees that you're passing by are, of course, all just bare branches, and they creak and they moan in the wind. Um, and as you get within about 50 feet of the manor, you find yourselves kind of blocked. Um, so I'm going to actually switch you, and we will take out the folks who aren't here. So this is roughly where the manor sits, and you find that in these areas, your path is blocked by just thick thorns and brambles and vines all um, grown over what was probably a very nice cobblestone path when this house was in use. Do you guys see me start hacking through this? <clears throat> Might be a good start. We're going to have to get through somehow. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to scan the windows of the manor while she's hacking away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom out a little bit on my end so I can kind of see. Um, yeah, so the front doors are here. There's some, a couple of steps leading up to it. And uh, Penelope, make two attacks for me, please. Seventeen for one. Okay. And seventeen for the other somehow. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and roll damage. Alistair, while you're doing that, are you just trying to from where you're at see in or are yeah. you gonna go over to a window? Actually I would love to go over to a window. The windows are at these points. Right. I'm going to go to the farther one. Okay. So make a perception check. Uh, with disadvantage, it is pitch black in there. I have dark vision though. Uh, still dark. Hello. Your damage, Penelope? Um, a 10 and 12. Perfect. Uh, 11. Okay. Uh, that room, from what you can kind of tell, it was probably a, you see some like, uh, chairs, chair-shaped objects with dust covers over them. Um, you see a couple of tables, what looks like maybe an animal hide rug of some kind on the floor. Uh, and then there is a large stone fireplace. But past that, you can't really make out anything. So you can see some. Uh, Penelope manages to get through some of the brambles on the path, so you are able to go up to the door now if you so choose. Okay. Can I kind of wander towards the door and see if I can crack it ajar? Yeah, you absolutely. You should be able to move your... I'll move Jazzy along. He's just like, wow, you did a really, really good job on those rambles. That was fantastic. Make sure... I will make sure I never piss you off, because I bet you could chop me right in half. <laughs> I'm still just going to be scanning for movements in the windows. Okay. So uh, what is your passive perception, Alistair? It is high, actually. It is 15. Okay, good to know. All right. Uh, Zane, as soon as you touch the door, it... and swings open. Oh, that's a good thing, usually. Uh, I kind of jump slightly and then... step in a little bit further, okay. just into the doorway. Yep. You can see the, uh, the, the main entryway here. There are cobwebs and dust all over the place. But what's super weird is that there are candles lit and flickering. They flicker as the, you open the door and the wind rushes in and hits the flame, but they don't go out. And they're just kind of haphazardly placed everywhere. I know it's saying pink, pink. There is no point in pinging right now. <laughs> <laughs> it worked well last time. I'm to get my ping. <laughs> 
Well, jeez, oh, everybody, you leave all the candles like that, you're going to burn a place down. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, You've already absolutely. given Alistair a foot rub. You've cracked uh, Zane's back and tried to figure out where Penelope went last night. So, you know. This is all legit. This is all legit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jezebel and Hephaestus. Jezebel tried to fix Hephaestus's little sniffle and gave them both the flu, so... Oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's classic Jezebel. It's classic. Yep. All right. So, uh, you the doors, the interior doors here are closed. And there is a staircase wide, kind of, it, again, it was probably very nice when it was, the house was in use, this wide oak staircase going to the second floor. Dude, we can just live here. It's real nice here. It's just it's ours just... now. Yeah. That, that's how you claim a property, right? You just squat in it. Squat for a while. Mm -hmm. People are scared of it. They won't come looking. It's great. I mean, you think this is because of Rash? No, I just really want a nice house. Ra Rash's house is nice. <laughs> <laughs> how would you know? I w I've been to a smithy. We was there. Yeah. We, won the we all went together. together. You, didn't, you didn't see the living quarters. You just saw the forge part. Oh, so we went into the living quarters. Nice. Where else would we drink? <laughs> Why would we drink by a fire? That's dangerous. Point taken. Fall in the fire, get burned to death. Rest How much death. did you drink? A lot. Impressive. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go into, into this door. Which one? Oh, the, the room? Okay, yep, you got it. Let me knock first. Make sure no one's in there. Uh, actually, uh, I may not be a uh, rogue, but I'm going to check for traps. You can make an investigation check. And then, Juzzy, are you moving inside the house, too? I'm burning yes. these dice. All right, yes. All right. He's just gonna wait outside. We woke Steve up. That's a. <laughs> oh no, no, it's cool. I'm good. Good. I'm awake. We're good. I'm We're good. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Just making sure, man. All right. So, will, what'd you get? I was a five. A five. Yes. You're pretty sure it's not. It's a solid oak door, but it's a decorative door handle. If this is trapped, then someone did a really good job. Just going to open Definite. it slowly. You got it. Yep. Squeak. yep. Everything in here is squeaky. This was definitely a sitting room. So the things that you were seeing uh, through the window, even with your uh, perception check, Alistair, again, it was probably nice. There's a lot of like animal skins in here and antlers on the walls. Um, everything that is cloth, the curtains, all of it's moth eaten. Um, the fireplace is uh, out, despite what shows on the map, it's actually out. Um, and then there are two closed uh, chests. Sorry, three. There's two Ooh. down on the south end of the map here. And then there's one over by where Jesse is standing. Let's open. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, before that, uh, can I start the fire in the fireplace? You totally can. Couldn't do that. Okay. It takes it a minute. You know, it's full of old ash, and you have to kind of clear some of that out, but you would eventually do get one going. So, so we have a light in here right now. Yes, you do. Yep. Okay, I'm going to light uh, my torch and I'm going to throw it at one of the chests. Just... <laughs> All right. Yep. That's one way to do it. That's one way to open it up. <laughs> Which one? I think he's suspicious. Uh, I'm very suspicious. Uh, the one that next to Jesse. It's for fun. <laughs> okay. Because Jesse is standing there, we're going to do this. Roll a d20 and add your dexterity modifier, please. You're fine. I rolled an 18. Okay. Oh, God. He's going to burn the house down. It is stone, mostly, so... You know, and there's been a fire here once, so... Yeah. Could uh, not be the first of fires. <laughs> uh, the... uh, so, 20 over. Okay, so the torch hits and uh, hits the chest and starts to burn it gonna take a minute i'm gonna back away from the fire area 
not close. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I just kind of go through stress and open them before they get set on fire? Yes, you may. Uh, you want to try that one on the left there first? Um, yeah, that one's unlocked. <laughs> Beautiful. So, yeah, uh, so some old candles, uh, a tinder box. There's a velvet pouch with 25 gold in it. Ooh. So, Money. Not much. Though. I mean, it was probably just storage. Like someone's junk drawer, basically. Just kind of... Uh, I'm, can I put out my fiery chest? And see if it's, <laughs> <laughs> if it's, uh, yes, you may. Unlocked. Okay, so you put that out. Uh, it is locked, but the lock has kind of melted, and you can, if you use enough, you have a decent strength modifier, um, you can kind of pry open what's left of it, um, and in here are, uh, a couple of small stone statuettes of dragons, Aww. and a bag, or it's actually a little, like a little, uh, jewelry box with two dark green topazes in it. Taking it. Okay. Uh, I'm actually. Uh, oh, all our spellcasters are not here. So, yep. uh, can any of you holy men use gems to do some shit? I can use them to sell and gain money, which is yeah, always. Yeah, I can, like that I can give them to nice somebody thing. and make their day. <laughs> what? I mean, you know, just like a present. Wrap them up in a little thing, put a little bow on it, and say, here you go. It's a shiny rock. People love when you give them presents. You can give it to your stalker. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> little did you know it was Juzzy who was watching you sleep, Alistair, on the roof. <laughs> can I, can well, that's can not I inaccurate. <laughs> can I check? Just because you said that, I'm going to see if those boots he's wearing are similar to us. <laughs> Did you know that you thrash a little bit in your sleep? Like, just like this. <laughs> Every once even, in a while. I didn't even have your damn camera, Steve. <laughs> oh, it's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me reconnect that shit. Oh, there he is. There we go. All right. I was just, just like, joking maybe and just twitching. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Uh, no, they're not the same. His have, his have tread on them, like any good adventurers would. The boots <laughs> prints that you saw were mostly smooth. I know how to be subtle watching a body sleep. Oh my god. That <laughs> could be creepier if you tried. Oh you my god. You are never going to see Juzzy <laughs> till it's too late. <laughs> Just imagine waking up in the night and just, are you sleeping well? <laughs> <laughs> Did you need me to sing you a lullaby? <laughs> I mean, we don't need to imagine. It's happened. <laughs> many, <laughs> many times. <laughs> That's fair. You know uh, what happens with halflings. We always share one normal bed. It doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> okay. Right. Does anybody go for the last chest? <laughs> I'll open it since I'm right here. Okay. It is uh, unlocked. And... It's probably the one in worse shape. It, it looked like it seen better days. And there's nothing in here except for a human skull. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, with that's fun. a symbol carved in the forehead. Take it. We will need it. <laughs> uh, what the... is the symbol? Yes. It's... Hey, Jess, you want to carry this for me? I'll take it. <laughs> it Ooh, looks... let me see it. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> to be damn or it. not. To be. Damn you can't. Damn Wrong it. monologue. Love it. <laughs> Wrong story. Um, it looks a lot like the symbol that had been burned into the snow. Of the two concentric circles yep. with the outer ones being black. Mm -hmm. uh, dun dun dun. This is going to get a lot more complicated. I can mm -hmm. feel it in my gizzards. <clears throat> I'm going to put the uh, dark green topazes in the eye sockets. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make it a decorative stuff? You always try yes. to have any puzzles to solve by putting gemstones in eye sockets. <laughs> you do realize have you seen Indiana like... Jones? <laughs> yeah, it works for a lot of fights as like... well. You just push it. Why are oh! they creating their skull? 
I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. That would look an awful lot like a demi lich. It'd be used to fool some dumb people. <laughs> you do that, and they're not the right size. They can actually like fall through. <laughs> so nothing. You gotta happens. respect the dead guys. Come on. All right, I'm yeah. going to pick up the my stone scent. Okay. Put and the skull and put it in my back. Okay. Add that to your inventory. As I collected the, the tinder box and the gold. We can share the gold out later back at the inn. Okay. Um, and I wander over to uh, these ornate skulls on the wall and start checking for any mechanics or anything like that, any hidden switches or doors. Yeah, it's a make an you don't investigation know check. Sure. We've all seen Clue. Go for it. Six. Six. They look like moose and deer skulls. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do I see uh, since we I started the fire? Mm -hmm. Are the shadows behaving like they should? Yes. All right. I like that though. That's good. That you're you're the first person to uh, try to put the gems in the skull sockets, which is impressive, and you're the first person to check the shadows. I like that. That's good. <laughs> This is not a Doctor Who episode. We're not That's counting smart. the shadows. <laughs> All right, so you've got a door uh, in this room, and then you have the other doors in the main hallway. Uh, Should I'll split the team? This one. Uh, oh, yes, one. please do. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> when the DM gets excited, we say nay. Please, split We're the like, party. let's not do that one. All right, so that one there? I'll leave the charge into this room, just shoulder barge it open. Okay. It also no um, also opens Three. with no issue, and you can see it was probably a storage room at one point. Um, there's some like old bags of flour on the floor, and a few just candle stubs and oh. some urns of really like gone to vinegar smell and wine. Oh, we have wine in here. Well, vinegar. At this point, <laughs> uh, can I check if it is vinegar? How would you like to do that? I'm gonna ask they Jesse said... to taste it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I taste it. You, okay, I taste so, it. Jesse tastes it. Uh, yeah, it, it's it was probably again it was probably nice wine, um, but it's definitely gone to vinegar. What a shame. Oh, it's real real lucky you had old Jesse taste this first. This is nasty as hell. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want y'all to drink this. Ooh, wait, this is making the hair on my feet stand up. <laughs> I can't. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Slapstick Comedy Hour. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Steve. All right. Uh, Where to? I'll have to charge uh, through this next door if you like. Going right uh, through? Yeah. Before you oh, do that, can I oh. can I check this room, just for fun? <laughs> if I see anything yeah. hidden pocket or something. Investigation check. Anybody who wants to do that, just say so. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Not the perception. No, nope. you're actively searching. <laughs> uh, there, no, this this is the most boring fucking room, ever. <laughs> I, I say this out loud. This is the most boring fucking room. There you go. So, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's kind of nice. Like the way the tiles and the walls come together, and then there's this nasty pot of death in the corner. <laughs> it's real quaint. <laughs> That's the vinegar, vinegar talking, Jesse. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going into the next one, Zane? Yep, I'll all barrel right. on through. Alrighty, alrighty. Oops, sorry. I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. Ah! Alright. Uh, yeah. Dining room. I'm sorry my cat keeps coming in. You're fine. <clears throat> Trust me. He's right. being a bum. He's, oh, but he's so cute. Look at him. He's obsessed with me. Oh, what a sweetie. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a dining room. So there's rotten food on the table. There's more of those candles. Cobwebs all over everything. Uh, and then on this wall, kind of in this nook. Ah, if I can get the right thing. Roll 20. In this nook. There are two 
nice oil portraits. One of a kind of a stately looking, it looks like Jeremy Irons almost, um, stately looking <laughs> A uh, man in probably in his late 40s, early 50s, wearing like a nice velvet red robe. And then a woman uh, with slicked back, black hair, bright blue eyes, and a very, very nice, probably likely very expensive dress. And they're, they're it's, it, you know, they're like formal portraits where they're just, they're just sitting there. Are they watching me? Yeah, do the eyes move? No. <laughs> Okay. Uh, there are little plaques on the bottom of the portraits. One says Alton Rolland, and the other one says Isabel Rolland. It's just five places. <clears throat> no, that's just the map. Sorry. Right? Can I? Is there actually a five place there? Yes. Can I check it for entrance ways, uh, switches, etc.? Et Investigation check, please. Uh, what is this here in the corner? Na natural one. Natural one. Yeah, it's a fireplace. <laughs> natural one. Yay. It's a fireplace. Uh, Alistair, it's a statue. I'm going to look it over first. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Look at it deeply. I see. I yeah. I got. So your passive is 15. Roll perception for me. Natural 20. Natural 20. Um, it it probably is an expensive statue. Uh, it's stone, but you can see it's actually carved out of like maybe marble or granite or something. It would have had to have been commissioned. And you do notice it's a knight with a sword, right? Sword tip into the ground. And on the chest of the armor of this statue is a crest, like a coat of arms. Do I recognize the coat of arms? It belongs to the Rilan family. This is a very so th this is a big statue. Just yes, it's my probably height. a good eight nine feet tall. Uh, yeah. I'm going to inspect. Still, I'm so dumb. I that every day. With your <laughs> so dumb. With your natural twenty, there is nothing to this statue um, out of the ordinary. It was likely very expensive to have it commissioned. Uh, it's covered in cobwebs. There's a couple spiders hanging out on it. Can I break off the coat of arms? It, it is carved into the stone. So you would have to, like, chisel and hammer that bad boy out. There's just wanton destruction of property. Um, yeah. I was thinking, I should break the statue. Penelope. I'm actually going to break the statue. Maybe it's hollow on me. You can try. Sure. Um... <laughs> It's not. <laughs> I'll just give you that. It's not. It's solid granite, no. man. Just break the statue. <laughs> Penelope and Jesse, will you make perception checks for me? 100%. Alrighty. 20. 21. Nice. Um, it, it's weird because, especially from your, and I only ask them because of their vantage point in the room, um, you both at the same time start to notice this <sighs> out and from the portraits on the wall. There's nobody watching the portraits. And so we're going to go look at the portraits? <laughs> these shadows emerge, and I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, baby! Let's do it. Finally. All right. So I'm going to pop everybody into the turn order. Twelve. Alrighty. We're gonna fight some shit. Alright. I got eighteen. Eighteen. Yep. Let me grab my sheets that I accidentally stuck in all of my other papers. Initiative through roll twenty, does it just straight up add your initiative yep. into the turn order? Yep. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it's handy. I didn't know it did. It'll do it, yep. And, oh, and I forgot this guy, because as the two these two shadows emerge, one that takes a better form also emerges. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Alistair, what did you get for initiative? I got 11. 11. So many of them. You guys don't like fighting I'm... raids? No. I'm growing really shit. I have the, I sorry. have advantage on <laughs> initiative. All right. 
So, where let me switch this real quick because <laughs> I can. And stop it. All right. So now that you are in here and you you all can see these shadows emerge from the portraits, and when they do, the painted oh, figures of Isabel and Alton Roland disappear from mm -hmm. the canvases. And now these entities have come forth. So uh, with that, the one in front is a little more solid in a certain way. There's still this etherealness to, that, to it. And it is going to... Are you best friend? You could be best friends with it. Going to pick up and go straight for the paladin. Oh. <sighs> because it sensed you were a threat. Um, so it is going to reach right into your face, Zane, Ooh. and grab at your your bone structure. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, and it disappears and takes over Zane. Zane, you shit. are considered possessed. Oh, shit. And you are now mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, I get to control Zane for oh, the foreseeable oh. future. You will be oh, able fuck. to try to shake that off. Um, so at the end of every turn, you'll be able to make a constitution saving throw to try to shake off the possession. Beautiful. Okay. So, but for now, that thing's gone, and in its place is uh, Zane, who I will use your turn to act. Um, or you can, I'll actually have you roll, but I'll tell you what you can do, so. James, you, like, really need to buy a set of dice, like, <laughs> three or four, so that when this happens, you can, like, think the just toss about. <laughs> no, no, dice you don't. I have a real. I have a campaign IRL, and I have four sets of dice. Three Where of are them they? are permanently in dice jail because they don't roll above fives. <laughs> My God, them again. Be like... <laughs> I knew a dude that once smashed a d20 with a hammer because it gave him three ones in a row. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> it out. It was my d20, so I wasn't super happy about it, but it deserved oh, no. it. So I okay. felt it. So that is its action. Um, Jazzy, you are next. All right. So I have some questions. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the middle of battle. Question number one. Yes. Well, these are Steve related questions because they will actively determine what I do next. Mm -hmm. um, are we talking about like, was there a spell cast here, or was that that seemed like just something that Shadow does? It just it's something it does. It's an okay. innate ability. Okay. Okay. This okay. This is how I know I'm talking now, to another DM. Would you <laughs> call that innate ability a curse? Nope. Noise. All right. Um, in that case, uh, I'm just gonna cast Sanctuary. Damn it. All right. Step back five feet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. On yourself? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling. All right. Absolutely. All right. Of course, of on course myself. On yourself. So you are sanctuaried. Okay. Uh, do you want to move? I just take five step, uh, five foot step back. back. Okay. Y'all got this. Good job, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, Jesse and believes in you. From everyone else's vantage point in the room, Zane looks like Zane, but his eyes have gone pure white. And he's Ugh. giving off this, like, smoke almost off of his body. It's, like, coming out in the cracks in the armor, and it's coming off at the end of his weapon. That's not fun. No. In my brain, not. I'm just screaming, Jesse! <laughs> <laughs> All Jesse doesn't have anything for this. Thought he did, but he doesn't. He tried. <laughs> God damn it. Ask Ask the universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, all right. So that's Jesse's turn. Penelope. So I feel really conflicted about going over. So I'm going to throw a hand axe at 
one of the shadow figures. Okay, you can do that. The one closest to me. Got it. Okay, so. Twenty. Yep, that will definitely hit. <laughs> so it's the damage die plus proficiency plus strength, right? Yes. <laughs> Math is hard. <laughs> Math is hard, yes. <laughs> I agree completely. I'm like, plus six, what is 13? that? Okay. Um, y it, you think for a second when you chuck the hand axe, and it's just a standard hand axe, right? Yes. Okay. There's a reason I'm asking. So when you throw it, it passes through the wraith and oh, then shit. hits the wall, and it does some damage. You can actually see where you've kind of split its chest area, I guess if it has a chest, because it's kind of amorphous looking. Um, and then the wound, quote unquote, seals right back up again. So did it hit the wall? It didn't hit the portrait at all? It hit the wall. Okay. It didn't do as much damage as you'd hoped. Which is DM speak for it was resistant. So, all right. Um, you still have movement. You have a bonus action. Um, I'm just going to stay here for right now. Okay. Stay in put. All right. Let me give you my haunted music from the lovely tabletop audio. Um, well done, Tom. All right. The wraiths are next. Um, they are going to just immediately move over and make uh so it's uh the one by you alistair it reaches out with this it it's almost like this smoke forms into a claw and it tries to rake you across Ooh, the face with it what is your armor class 18 18 nope that is an 11 that will not hit um, i would like to repost yes you may do the thing i'm doing the thing <laughs> Uh, 20. Yeah, 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 a little bit. <laughs> All right, so... You can give me that damage. Plus superiority die. Oh, yes. <laughs> Plus my strength modifier, right? Yep, I let you add that in. Yep, and your proficiency. Uh, and my proficiency. Yeah, it's the same number that you attack with. So whatever you add to your d20 roll, you roll the damage die and then add that exact same attack modifier. So that's uh, 25. Damage? Yes. Holy Six, shit! 6, 4, 7, and my strength <laughs> modifier is 5. Holy <laughs> shit! Damn, all right. Yay! And this is your Repost. weapon of warning, right? Go team, go! No, that's no. my... Uh, Great sword. It's your Weapon great sword. of warning. Oh yes, that's right. So you Weapon bring... of warning can't can't be my That's right. Weapon. I, I remember that now. Thank you. Um you bring the great sword across it and you actually watch its shadow arm kind of get lopped off and go flying, and then when it hits the ground right in front of Zane, it just turns into dust and ash. Um it's it's very, very hurt, but it has not been dispersed. And when you did that, for the briefest moment, you swore you saw the face of an old gnome woman in the shadow. Uh, no! And then it uh, immediately turned back into this amorphous figure. Uh, did, did you say that uh, my damage did not do as much as I thought it would? Um, no, it did not. All right. It did not. Why am I possessed? <laughs> I know what we must do, but I'm possessed. I also have a fair idea of what we must do now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe uh, you should shout out and tell us. This is Jazzy. Uh, when I when I see that, yeah. uh, can I just say uh, Oda? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, there's no reaction other than just this menacing wave of energy that kind of comes off of this now pretty wounded entity. Um, okay. Uh, Penelope, this other thing is also going to try to come at you, but it is trying to reach into your chest and grab at your heart. 
trick. I don't have a heart. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please, as I make my attack. Whoop, as I throw a die around. D20 so down. How do I do that? Uh, your con save in your sheet. Mm -mm -mm. You probably can roll it. Yeah, in your sheet, you can actually click on where it says saving throws and just click on constitution. It'll roll it in D20 if you want. Or you can roll a D20 and add five to it, which is your save. This one. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to use this thing. So in your sheet, um, over where it says saving throws, Mm -hmm. If you click on the word constitution, it should roll it. Did it roll it? I think so. Yeah. Let me look. Here. Yes, it did. Yeah. Ooh. That's not good. That's not good. No. All right. So it does some damage to you. The reason that I had you make this con save is that... So uh... you're going to take six points of necrotic damage. Okay. And your max hit points is now reduced by six. Okay. That's this, fine. I still have a lot. It's that kind of con or uh, uh, necrotic so that, damage. That, yeah. that will take. It's all good. I have a lot of hit points, y'all. I'm all right. healthy. That is what Strong like it is going to do. Zane. No. Um, uh. The entity in your mind <laughs> is telling you <laughs> that these are enemies, that they will kill you, and you need to strike back. So I need you to roll a d100. Don't you come at me, bro. <laughs> That's where we're going to determine. <laughs> so 88. Me, okay. With an 88, you are going to, and your movement's 25, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. yep. You're going to go straight for Penelope. And um, so you're going to actually get, yep, you're going to flank her because you're going to take every advantage you have. And you're going to use your best weapon to make an attack against her. And here I wasn't going to hurt you. So, right. Right now I have a shield and a long sword. Mm -hmm. Would that cause me to put my shield away so I could do the most damage by uh, two-handing it? Or yes, it would. would. I still? Oh, god damn it. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> oh. So that's hit a ten. I don't think that's going to hit you, right? A ten? 13 armor class. Nope. Ha <laughs> <laughs> She just kind of counters you. I just like stick my tongue out. Like, mm, you didn't get me. <laughs> uh, and then I need you to go ahead and try to make that con save again to see if you can shake the possession. Uh, shake it. Was that con again? Sorry. Con yeah, constitution. 17. That will do it. I, Yay! The smoke kind of leads me and I just go straight to my knees and just go, I'm so just, sorry. The painting! Just, like, vomit, vomit the entity out. You're like, ugh. He needs to attack the paintings! It, it leaves his body kind of out through, like, the back of his armor and then just appears in between all of you, and you can now see that that wraith again. All right. <laughs> uh, and then you are actually going to take a little bit of damage, Zane, from that possession so you're going to take five just... points of necrotic damage beautiful does that reduce max as well yes, it or does. am i good yep oh yep right reduces um, the max it's okay friend that happened to me too if we uh, from the possession did i learn anything as feedback as long as it was in me could i read it oh that's a good question um make a religion check for me i'll i'll let you do that I hate you. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm the world's worst paladin right now. It's, it, it is, it is a, a force of, of pure anger and Skip that rage. <laughs> Alright, that works. But um, can I, kind of, as I say, I want to kind of scream from the, the other two. Try hitting the paintings. They came from there. Maybe that will work. Okay. Uh, Alistair. Use your uh -oh. fire. You did so well before. <laughs> uh, actually, would that work? Yeah. Actually, uh, uh, Alistair is just smiling, having a really good time. 
and join the company <laughs> join the company of the dead <laughs> uh, i'm going to hit the guy that i hit first okay. just regular or una uh 16. that will hit all right Uh, 13 points. Okay. Same thing, not as much damage as you would have liked, but it is starting to, it is starting to look like it's actually tearing in places. Where just the, the, the hits that you're landing on this thing is kind of tearing away at the very fabric of its essence. All right. Wait a minute. I have a feet. <laughs> I have a thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Okay, uh, it's almost dead, you said. It looks tattered. Tattered? I'm going to hit it again. You're going to hit it's it again. It's already dead. Are you trying to make it deader? Can... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 14. The 14 will hit. Oh, sweet. Yeah, these are not fully corporeal creatures. Uh, 13 again. Yep, that'll do it. Woohoo! That slash from your great sword rips it apart diagonally and it just explodes into this dust. All right. Now I'm I'm just This is fun. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> Uh, since I have the feet great weapon master, I can make another attack as a bonus action. Yes, you can. So I'm going to move here. Am I flanking? Yes, you are. Woohoo! Is this one more sturdier? Did you say that? Uh, it has more features to it, so probably. All right. Uh, I'm going to hit it. Okay. I'm going to hit it. Uh, natural 19. That will hit. Okay, then I'm going to use a menacing strike. Aha, uh -huh, alright. Battle master fighters. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, so it has to make a uh, wisdom saving throw uh, against my uh, DC that is... What is it? What is it? 16 is my DC. Uh, yeah, no, that's a 6. <laughs> That ain't gonna make Sweet. it. <laughs> uh, 20 points of damage. Oof. Okay. Uh, reduced by half to 10, so. Yeah, and it is afraid of me. Oh, interesting. And it is not immune to that, so. All right. It has it has the fear flow back to Zane there. Has the fear condition on it then. All right. Yeah, this one it it took the hit and it didn't seem to really affect it much, but that menacing strike is now, uh, we'll say, cautioning it to maybe not attack you again. Yeah, uh, that's the end of my turn. Okay, end of your turn. Uh, it is its turn. It cannot willingly move closer to you and needs to move in the opposite direction. So it is going to go fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> go fuck right off. Yes, <laughs> it is actually going to go for the sanctuary cleric. Uh, can we take uh, opportunity? Uh, yes, uh, you may. Uh, yep. Yay! Do it, Zane. <laughs> um, how do I? What do I? I forgot. Just make a regular 16. attack. Sixteen will hit. Twenty-one. That'll hit. So go ahead and roll damage. 19 points of damage. Oh. Uh, come on, will you just do this properly, please? I want to... The 1d10, but I don't want to do it manually. Screw it. 3 plus... 3... That's... Oh, okay. Uh, plus 6? Um, 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9. So four. Okay, got it. Oh yeah, it's still it's still kicking, uh, but it just took two hits as it... Bamfed away and went over to uh, Jazzy, and you are sanctuary. Oh yeah, it can uh, it can try. It needs to make a wisdom save. Okay. 
That's a 14. That meets. Okay, so it's it passes. Um, okay. So, it's going to try to hit you with a life drain. Mm-hmm. I need you to make a con save. That's a 15. 15, that does pass. So you're going to take the damage, but your your HP will not be reduced. So, where is my other... There it is. I thought my cat stole it. All right, <laughs> you're going to take nine points of necrotic damage. But your max stays the same. Uh, and that's what it's going to do. So, it's your turn, Jesse. Okay. Um, well, then I'm just going to... Uh... <laughs> Just gonna go five foot up. step. Yeah, I'm just gonna five foot step to the right. Okay. Just punch a spirit in the so face. So as not to provoke an opportunity attack. Uh, sure. And the painting is right here, correct? Yeah, there were two. They're kind of um, like mm. this on the wall to each other. Yeah. The one we destroyed. Okay. Oh, we've already killed. Um, so the are those candles light. on the table lit? Yes, they are. I know what you're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to use thaumaturgy. <laughs> to fuck with the fire. Because, so here's my reasoning, right? All right, so sacred flame isn't actually fire. I, right. That's what I was looking up. It is a flame-like radiance, but it is not actually fire. Um, so thaumaturgy should allow me to manipulate the flame to just like, <laughs> at least, yeah, just fire over that way. You can, can like, the sound like putting a, like putting a, uh, like a like a can of hairspray behind a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> I will have you make a just make a a spell attack for me, just to make sure this doesn't backfire. That is a seventeen. Yeah, that's fine. All right, and which painting are you aiming at? Uh, let's go to the one on the right. The one on to the start right with. is Isabel Rolon. Um, okay, so go ahead and uh, with candle roll roll one d six. And then add your spell attack bonus. All right, so I got a five spell attack bonus mm-hmm. is six, so eleven. So eleven, yeah. The painting's now on fire. <laughs> it's gonna take probably a round to burn, but mm-hmm. as you launch the flame over from the candle to hit the painting, it is an oil painting, so it starts to immediately go up. And here's the beautiful other thing about that chain of events. I didn't really take any aggressive actions there. <laughs> no, you did not. You're just like, oh. So I'm sanctuary. <laughs> um, and now uh, I am going to let him try to provoke that attack of opportunity as I actually move Okay. Like over here. Yeah, and he will try to do that, team. but he has to make another wisdom save, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, no, that's a 12. Yeah. So Jesse just whistles a little tune and walks away. Yeah, so either choose a new target or lose the attack. He's just going to lose the attack. Then, yep. Okay. That's what oh, happens. Yeah. There's a painting on fire. Yeah, I mean, it's true. There's a painting on fire. There's raids everywhere. There's one dead. So then it's Penelope's turn. Okay. I'm just going to swing at the one near me with my great axe. There's two by you. Well, the one that's just closest, the one circled in red. Okay, got it. 19. 19 definitely hits. Okay. 13. Okay. Yep. So you, kind of, you, you all kind of know what the deal is now. Your weapons aren't doing quite as much damage as you would have liked but you are hacking through them uh, at a pace. Okay. Anything else? Nope. You're good? All right. (laughs) The one in front of you is going to do exactly what it tried to do previously. It's going to try to pull at your life essence. So go ahead and make another constitution saving throw. There we go. Oh, that definitely passes. 23 most definitely does. So you don't get hit with your HP max again, um, but you will take some more necrotic damage. That's five points of necrotic damage. 
as it just yeah. it's trying to pull on your soul your essence something and it's not quite getting a, the grip that it wanted but it is draining you slowly it's a slow death uh, <laughs> the other one's dead deader D dead again i don't know uh zane <laughs> you're free of your possession Woohoo! Um, I do. In right, you know. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of how to phrase what I want. To, hmm. Ah, screw it. Right, I sprint five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. The actual sprint, just run, and just hop over the table. <laughs> I got. I'm nimble. It doesn't matter whether I'm in heavy armor. I'm nimble. <laughs> I could run straight underneath the I table for all I I love it. <laughs> and I tinderbox the other um, painting. Okay. All right. That'll take and... your whole action. Right. Okay. It's a, um... Thankfully, there is another fire right next to you. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, all right. I'm getting the hint. <laughs> it's... I can do branding smite on weapons. Yes. If it's not a weapon, can I bless an object to the holy ability? Um, mm, that's a good question. I'm actually going to make you do something very similar that Jesse had to do. Make a religion check for me. Okay. No, for Zane. Uh, religion, religion, religion. 11. 11. You're pretty sure you could, whether it's going to help. Not sure. Oh, but Branding Smite's a good spell as well. Eh, it's great. I will Branding Smite. <laughs> um, I've, I, um, I've got a candle from earlier, haven't I? From the chest. Yes. Yeah, so I Branding Smite the candle, and the, <laughs> specifically the wick. Um, take the flame that Jussie cast, well, ju Jussie moved, and light both of them with this newly holy flame. Oh, so holy candle. <laughs> Holy. Ah! <laughs> Holy stand, candle, Batman. <laughs> and I stand next to it, chuffed with a big smile on my face, just like, yeah, boy. Okay, so roll <laughs> 1d6 fire damage. And then we'll roll your branding smite damage. That's funny. I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it happen because I like it. So that's two fire damage. Okay. And branding smite is going to be two d6 radiant. So when that decides to actually roll, screw it, 2, two d6. Oh. Uh, natural six and four, so 10. So 10, so 12. So, okay. So the painting definitely goes up, um, but it's more fueled nice. by uh, radiant energy than it is by actual fire. So it's, it's burning <laughs> slower than the one that's really on fire, <laughs> yeah. but it is burning. <laughs> you officially... Set a canvas on fire. Ah! Yay! Yay! I just go, this is what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So can't feel good that Jazzy figured it out too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you've used your movement and your action. Did you? And bonus was branding smite, right? Yep. Okay. So turn. Uh, Alistair, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to... Come be my just... friend! <laughs> I'm just wondering what the hell they're doing burning down my canvas. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and then, yeah, I got business to do. And I'm going to move here. Okay. Yep, you're flanking. And I'm going to take my strikes. Okay. You're going to have advantage because it is afraid of you. And because you're uh, uh, flanked. No, see, they, the menacing strikes only last until my next my next turn. Oh, so that's it's right. Not I always, well, but you're flanked, so. Yeah. yeah, I still have advantage. Thank God for advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 21. Yeah, I that hits. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that definitely, no, 21 hits. You're good. <laughs> Uh, 16. Okay. Chipping away at it. It's, uh, it's starting to look like it's been uh, hit a few times by some large weapons. Alright. Uh, I'm 
I'm gonna hit it again then. Let's okay. See if... Come on, natural twenty. Give me. 16. 16 hits. Uh, 13 points. Okay. All right. Yeah. Chipping away at it. It's, um, there's part of that, that smoke and ash and dust that's coming off of its body. Uh, and at one point on that second hit, Alistair, you see the face of a large, almost half orc but orc looking man press through the mist and the dust to sneer at you and then it recedes back again I go like Morg no it's my boyfriend's dad she could be your dead father in law dead father in law being the parents big stuff (laughs) they talked aggressively once boyfriend (laughs) I do believe it was way more than that there may have been some aggressive throwing into walls if I'm being accurate. <laughs> I mostly just, just wanted to make Noel laugh. Ones. That's <laughs> <laughs> You started it. <laughs> mm. Okay, so end of your turn then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is going to turn right around to you, Alistair, and do- try that. Doggone possession. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I did nothing. As it reaches out to you. Can't save. Yep. 24. Yeah. You, you, it doesn't even manage to get a grasp on your face like it did to Zane. And you just back up away from it. And it can't. That's its, that's its turn. Um, it's going to stay put. I'm so. just going to wink at it. Just like, that bodies. That bodies. <laughs> Jesse, it is your turn. Alrighty. Um, and the paintings are, are merrily ablaze. They are merrily ablaze. Okay. They okay. will be okay. the one on the right will be toast at the end of the round. Okay. Um then I am gonna what am I gonna do? Fuck, this is it. I mean, I don't want to drop my sanctuary. Look, let's be real here. <laughs> Bless <laughs> us. Don't ask the right cleric. Here, I'll save you. You're talking to the wrong cleric. Um, <laughs> so we tried to kill us. All right. Who has taken some significant damage here? Because otherwise I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> I mean, I'm technically at max because it reduced my maxes, which it reduced my normal, so I can't take any more healing. I'm like I think... five. I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I take nine points of damage there back. There you go. All right. Do you want to move? Nope, I'm good hiding behind the table. <laughs> I'm good here. <laughs> We're all. Juzzy's good here. <laughs> yep. All right, Penelope. Decisions. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll swing at the one that I have advantage. Fair call. Twenty-one. Uh, no, that no, that definitely hits. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I don't yes, know. Yes, I'm sure. Sixteen for damage. Okay. It's yeah, you're you guys are hacking away at it. <laughs> We're uh, gonna do it eventually. This is a boss fight. It takes so many hits. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is that it's you're all you're only doing half damage. So otherwise, you'd you have killed wait it. Wait for the paintings to burn. You'd have killed it like just looking at our watch three hits like, ago. Yeah, I know. I was just like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, anything else? No, I'm good. I love that you're doing that. You're not even raging. You're just like, get, go away. Just... Yeah. I don't want to waste it yet. I don't blame like, it. You're not I'm raged. You're just point. moderately pissed. I'm just yeah. annoyed at this point. It's not enough for rage. Inconvenience. Like, oh, just, uh, she's, so, she's so mellow after last night. The, uh, the rage uh, by you, Penelope, in the red circle yeah. is going to claw you. Is that constitution again? Nope, it's just an attack. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it has a life drain and then it has a claw attack. So that is a nope. That's a ten. Yep, that's 13. a sh- shit. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> All right, it just you do not want to hurt us. Like, Come on, anemically swiping at you. Um, <laughs> just can't even can't even do it. Uh, all right, Zane, that painting is on fire, but the one to your right is definitely burning faster. Question. Yes. I have, um, my weapons obviously have range on them. Mm-hmm. Like a, for example, the long sword's range is, oh, direct light sword, but the spear, the spear has long range. Yes. Say it's got 20 feet range for the melee and then it's 60 thrown, isn't it? Or is that, so um, it's a no, yeah it it has it's a reach up. weapon and then it also has a throwing range, um, yeah. so it you have to be uh, it's a twenty sixty range so you would have to ha- meet that range and you're you're twenty feet. Yeah, uh, you see the thing is those two are stacked in a fantastic line, <laughs> so I was thinking if I got closer and had my reach could I stab through one of them into the other and damage from both. You would have to make a killing blow on the one. Ah, that's boring. You'd have um, to roll a crit. No, that's impressive. <laughs> so, the um, obviously I've set fire to one side of my painting. I uh-huh. just set fire to the other to make it burn quicker. <laughs> the one on the right will be burnt at the end of the round. Yeah, so if I set fire to the other side of a left-hand one, will sure. that be burnt at the same time? <sighs> no. It will will it increase the speed of it at least? A little bit. But again, you're going to burn your whole action to do that, so it's up to you. I can still move. You can still move, yeah. Uh, nah. I. Hmm. And if these things are incorporeal, can I stand in the same space as them? You can try to move through them. Interesting. Whether that will have consequences. Yeah. Well, it will. I'll be ch- chilled to the bone and probably take necrotic damage. I know. Probably, I'll be you know. Because that's you again. In which case, I will barrel here. Um, nope. And I barrel everywhere now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and take a swing at a uh, big bad in the center. Yeah. I'll do long sword one hand because I've got my shield back out now. Okay. Uh, that's a 15. 15 hits. Beautiful. Uh, then. So it's 1d8. So that's 7 plus 3, that's 10, plus 3, that's 13 damage, half. So half run, run Six. down. Six. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they, they, they're starting to look tattered. Um, that painting, you're watching the one on the right, just is starting to crumble. Okay. Uh, is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn, thank right. you. Alistair. I'm gonna kill that thing. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> uh, that one in the center. Okay. Uh, 16 hits. 16 hits, yep. Uh, 16 points of damage, so 8. It is not looking good. Now I'm going to kill it. It's already. Uh, 22. That hits. Uh, 18 points of damage. So it nine. is toast. Yay! Yay! And as that one dissolves and just kind of turns into this pile of ash on the ground, the painting on the left goes up completely in flames like someone threw a bomb at it. Bye, father-in-law. Very <laughs> <laughs> fondly. I go like, fucking finally. And I'm going to move here and take a model swing at the one in the middle. Yes, you can do that. I love this feet. It's good. Natural 20, finally. Natural 20. Give me the damage. You're going to murder it. You're going to do a murder, but... Right, right. Holy shit. Wait a second. You need to see this. <laughs> Wait. Fuck, you rolled two sixes. Oh, jeez. Okay, nice. so... Yep. 24. 
Yeah, give me the whole damage, just for fun. That's 32. Fuck my life. All More right. like me. Cheers! All right. So, overkill. He actually slices through it so much that your your sword goes into the table behind it. So by the time that you just cut it in half, your sword gets embedded into the table, and the painting on the right is also uh, just ash and smoke, and it's starting to get a little sooty in here from all the paint on fire. When I do that, I'm just going to look at Sane and go, still want to fight? Right. So, it's come <laughs> over. And it should be, it's yep, come over. You're out. Yep. So, I walk to both Penelope and Alistair, and I slap them both. Um, at which point, but I would quite like to slap them while casting something. <laughs> Why are you slapping me? What, what? did you do? <laughs> I don't even hit you. Where are we? you I will take you offense. Like Where are you? I know you're there somewhere. Oh um, my gosh. Why are you trying to hurt me? I'm very confused. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. Like, do you want to start this? Because I'll hit you right back. I will slap them while casting aid. Okay. So just like a cha cha. Just go. They came out the paintings. Do you not remember what that means? Even fucking Juzzy figured it out. They come out the painting, you destroy the painting. What was I supposed to do? Destroy the fucking painting. I had nothing to destroy it with. We have torches, we have candles. Juicy figured it out. I, this, I is more, like this is more of the issue is that Juicy <laughs> did it before you two. I, I trust don't you like two. Fire. I'm just I'm going to. Every one so you can get over to burn the Smile paint. madly. <laughs> I'm going to pat Sane on the head, just like, are they dead? Yes. Like, yes, yes they, they are dead. Are, are we hurt? You know what? Yes. The next time you get possessed, I'm just going to come after you. Fucking bring it. Anyway, you both have an increase in your max and current five, because I aided you. <laughs> and me. So uh, we all have the plus five on those, so we shouldn't be back to normal. <laughs> I, I didn't take any damage, that fights. So congratulations, you have more HP than you started with. Oh, sweet. And a slap and a friggin' lecture. <laughs> <laughs> take my chick track, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be, that was a good fight. There you go. Um, yeah, y'all did real great. You really fucked up them shadows. Something fierce. <laughs> yeah, just... I had an over in the corner. Uh, would we have, during the chaos of that, would we have noticed that he didn't help at all? I mean, what yeah. That I did stuff. <laughs> he did more Wait than you two did. He got cardio in. What do you mean? I killed them all. No, you're right, Alistair. I'm just a piece of shit. Come on, lay it on. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Let me hear it. Get it all out. No, no, feel Chill better. Me. Chill. You. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you were the smart one. <laughs> no, no. Like I'm being dead serious here. Like, come on, make you feel to, better. I just want to do the fight. I mean, um, it was impressive. You just did it the incredibly hard way. <laughs> it's the only way I know. Got to fight smarter, not harder. Jazzy, while well, they're bickering, um, you feel this. It's like a hand on your shoulder. Shit. And you turn around, and your boss is behind you. Oh, hey, boss. What are can you, I do you for? Are you uh, done playing with them, or? Oh, no, I think one of them's legit going to try to kill me. <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Well, but then they're just doomed forever. I'm gonna burn the place down, don't worry. Good. And it F is for fire that burns down the whole town. Dissipates. You all just see Jesse talking to air. So but that's normal, normal behavior for, for Jesse. Yeah. For the record, I would imagine that that was not in common. I would no. imagine that was probably in that's normal. In in the boss's language. It, it was. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's like, oh Jesse's talking to the voices in his head again. He's speaking uh, in tongues, so that's perfectly normal. There's no issue. I don't even speak to ping at this point. I'm just quite happy just sat there. <laughs> uh, still, uh, do, do any of us recognize the language that was spoken? No. What language was it? 
So the language of the deep ones rather than infernal or anything useful. <laughs> it didn't sound like anything any of you have ever heard. Okay. Ever. Like All right, a... everybody. <laughs> and then there's that. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> I want to ask just you know, though. Uh... No, I have nothing to ask. That is completely normal behavior for him. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, dance, you, puppets. You, dance. You say this is a language you never heard before. We hear it like once a day from him. It's just normal now. We don't there understand you go. it. With... <laughs> All right. I'm dying. So, okay, I would like to say, ask him, Jesse, what did the voices say today? Oh, they just reminded me that everybody's special and needs to be taken care of. Good to know. I worry about the taking care of, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I I'm going to go to this door here, and okay. I'm going to slowly creak it open. You can creak. definitely do that. It is the kitchen. And you can see that this is likely where a good chunk of the fire damage happened. And actually part of this wall on the back has been crumbled and there are vines and brambles growing over it. Um, but there's ev clear evidence of fire back here. A quick hmm. query. I can't remember if we were told or not. The staircase in this room, up or down? The, wait, the what? This um, thing here. Does it go up or does it go down? Sorry. Oh, you're back here. Okay. Um, that goes down. Beautiful. All right. Uh, can I just look it really hard over? Just looking. <laughs> just really staring. I like how you're ga you've already learned to game the system. I have to appreciate that. <laughs> Shh. Your passive is high enough that, other than some creepy candles in here, um, no. The fireplace is huge. Like, you could put bodies in there. Are there bodies in there? No. There's an old <laughs> stew pot. There's just bones. It's just, it's just a witch's brew. It's fine. <laughs> Right. Uh, so I did not notice there was a door here, right? Yes. And I'm gonna peek. That leads out to a hallway leading back to the main part of the house. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> a door that you just gazoontite. You know, gotta open all the doors. Yep. Uh, I'm I just. I'm just gonna. Okay, hold on just a second. Oh, uh, I'm zoomed in too far. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so you're... Oh, y'all are down there. Okay. So that door... Yep. Um, this is... It was probably a, a study or another gathering place of some kind. Um, there are some old, like, uh, damp so. playing cards on the table. Oh, um, damn it. Uh, there's some some dice on the table, uh, and then a chest in the corner. Actually, Alistair will start playing with the dice. I need I'll you to play... make a wisdom saving throw as you do that. Shit. I was going to say the playing cards anything like my playing card. No. Oh, thank god. No. They look like three dragon ante, that's just a standard bar game. It was going to be so good! What is it? Wisdom save. Yeah. It's a 10. A 10. Um, as you start to mess around with these dice, they're clearly made of bone and oh, have shit. been dyed like a dark, dark blue, almost a black. Uh, most of the pips, you can't even see them anymore. They've been worn down over the years. Uh, and as you start to pick these up, that person who saved you so long ago is standing in front of you and instead of saving you she tries to drive a sword right down through your heart oh that's fun and you watch alistair get flown and he gets he actually flies back and hits this wall 
and gets kind of knock, knocks his head back against the wall. Um, Alistair is in shock. Yeah. That is how I would put it. He is just, he's not moving. He is breathing very fast. He just, I, just I kind fright. of look, look up from trying to investigate the chest and just go, for fuck's sake, five seconds. We've been in a room five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to reply. I'm just in shock. You're going to take two points of bludgeoning damage just from where you kind of crack your head on the wall. It's fine. I have five extra. <laughs> okay. So. I, can I try and open the chest? Mm -hmm. It is unlocked. And there's nothing in it. Aww. which is we have another door, if anybody... Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's open the door. <laughs> Clearing everything. All right, that leads you out into another hallway with three more doors. Door reached. Really? We door. good. Do we want to split up? I've just opened, not go in, just open. Oh, okay, we can just, yeah, we just open them. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a one way open. to clear the map. All right. Uh, the one that Jesse's standing in front of is another storeroom. The one that Penelope is standing in front of uh, was probably where they stored most of the wine and the ale. You can actually oh, you do see still good. a bunch of barrels back there. And then the one that Zane's in front of, you almost slip into a pit Ooh. that oh, you can't see God. the bottom of. <laughs> All right. So we have a one room we haven't explored yet. A direct way up, a direct way down, and a very direct way down. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, what's in these storeroom? Uh, this was probably the dry goods pantry. So old potatoes that are disgusting. You see a rat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some spiders. Yeah. No, like oil or anything like that. Make an investigation check. I'll give you Just that. Just wondering for a friend. <laughs> he's a he's a collector. That's gonna of be a nine. Drawers. It's a not nine. good. <laughs> not good. It's not good. No, no. Maybe you could set the flower bags on fire. Okay. Um, oh, they would go up, bloody Nora. Take note of that. Um, and uh, well, we can see if yeah, I'm gonna that. rejoin everybody else. Okay. Penelope, there and... is a barrel of beer back there. <laughs> is it still good? Yeah. Because we can use alcohol um, to light something on fire and see how deep that pit goes. Dip a torch in alcohol. There's like a, uh, there's a, there's a, a full barrel of beer, an untapped keg, we'll say, of a dwarven vintage. <laughs> That's probably quite good. You've never had it before. You've heard it's very good. It's probably worth a fair bit of money, or it would be very good to light something on fire. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna deal with the fire. I don't fire. So if one of you guys wants to, then. But I'm. I'm go. not dealing with the fire. Stand back here in the safety, away from the fire, <laughs> and away from the pit that Zane almost fell into. Yeah. Uh, can I try to just? Put my hand into a, in my sack and try to pick up the dice indirectly like that. Oh, I got you. Yes, you may do that. Or like, do I? Yeah, you you can pick them up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bag them then. Okay. Bagged. Done. Dice. Cursed dice. No. No. <laughs> One of my players is in chat. Hi. It's like I don't remember those things. No, they they weren't uh, they weren't part of the original game. You also all stood around that pit and went. This is where we get Scooby Doo pushed into this pit, and I went, yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> where to? Uh, I'm going to shake off my fear and loathing, and I'm going to this room. Hopefully, Penelope also. 
go. This is the probably the family library. Ooh, books. Uh, I'm going to look really hard. I'm just going to I'm just watching intensely. I am going to make you make an investigation check. That's a good try. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh 13 13 um you do see some they look like uh books of music like loose leaf sheets of music you do find an old flute laying on one of the shelves um yeah then then there's some more creepy candles (laughs) any portraits no okay i'm just going to use my back trick again and gonna grab the loot Okay. Indirectly. And I'm going to take also the musical book indirectly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, like, touch one thing. Curse the object. Everything's cursed. Fool me once. Shame on me. Hey, that's true. <laughs> Fool me twice. Okay. So, that's very true. All right, possibly so that cursed loot. Why don't you play it and find out? I'm going to give it to Lucas to play. <gasps> and not tell him? That's so mean. Yes. That's so mean. He's not nice. <gasps> Horrible. All right. What would you all like to do? Upstairs or downstairs? Did we check out that pit yet? How deep it goes? We've not looked all the way down it yet, no. So, dark vision, as halflings, you don't have it. Um... But do you have it as a paladin? I don't have any dark vision or okay. anything there. Um, so you can't see shit. You can just dangle Juzzy down there, see if he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just uh, tie me up real good at the end of a stick. Saying you can ask me to. Look. <laughs> Actually, Juzzy, can you cast some sacred flames down there? I know we're not fire, but we do give light. I'll tell you what I can do instead. I could do you one better. And I just cast a light on a rock and drop it. There you go. <laughs> okay. Can't trip. So it, the rock, the lit rock now drops and it probably a good hundred feet down. Holy shit. So if anyone nice. gets in trouble, we'll just throw them down. It's fine. Body pit. Do, we hear, do we hear anything pissed off down there? No, you do hear the rock hit, but you don't. You know, it's not like you hear any kind of like, meow, you know. <laughs> this is a swarm of cats on there. Oh, God, <laughs> cats! Oh, oh. It's the stray cats! So, what do you say, guys? Upstairs or down? Let's go upstairs first. I go up. Upstairs works. It's a creepy mansion. Downstairs will probably be bad. So, I want to clear as much as we Why can. That's what you think. There. Well, everywhere is going to be bad. But... Okay. So. I mean, oh, if this thing would let me do what I need it to do. Okay, so all of you, actually, let me copy and paste you from the previous page because roll twenty is a piece of crap. <laughs> Freaking. All right, so you come up the stairs uh, into the second floor, and. Yes. So as you walk up there, of course, the entire house is creaking and groaning. Um, there are nice tapestries on the walls. There's more of those statues, like the one that you found in the dining room. Stone knights with the crest of the Rillon family on them. Um, and then you have hallways and doors. More doors, all closed. I tap lightly at the statue to see if it's hollow. It tries to eat your face. No, it's a stone <laughs> statue. <laughs> it's always me. It's what you get for poking things, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's a statue. Touch it with the ass. I'm gonna touch it with the end of my sword. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. So, so should we door check? one, door two. Yes, I've door given you three. kind of the where you can see um from where you're at alistair as you move into that hallway you do find what looks like another stairwell down 
uh, that's blocked with like rubble. It looks like maybe there was more fire damage here at one point. Is it too much rubble to move? It would take you a couple of hours. Ah, uh, we don't have that. <laughs> what? It's a creepy mansion. <laughs> we have so much time. Uh, I'm going to peek inside this. The one you're standing just, in front of? Yeah, very sneakily. Okay, just, just very like. quietly. This just was sneaky. probably the master bedroom. Um, it's it's nice. There's um, a couple of beds. There's a... Oh, no, wait. Maybe I have the wrong note. Uh, do I have the wrong note? Is it the wrong one? Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> too many notes. Too many notes. Not the master. Sorry. This was probably the servant's quarters. Servant's quarters? Yes. There's uh, multiple beds. There's a cold fireplace. A couple of foot lockers they would have used for their stuff. Why is uh, it's by the door behind that bed there? Maybe. Sure. Secret door. <laughs> we'll say yes. Why is there a door uh, behind the bed? Closet? I don't know. Um, maybe someone was trying to have. Some, maybe <laughs> someone was trying to have some easy access. And Legit, that was probably just my map fuck up. <laughs> That's really what that is. <laughs> These maps are old. I made them a long time ago, and I and I used a pre-made map and then like put fucking furniture in it. So I probably just didn't uh, notice the door. <laughs> I'm gonna light the fire. Okay. If that's the fireplace. Yeah, over there, right? It is. Yep. You can do that. And I'm going to watch the shadows. Oh my god! Lights with fire made sounds go. It's a fireplace. I hate to disappoint you. And it's a room. Okay. Uh, just going to check the foot, foot locker then. Is it locked? Uh, it is not locked. I don't have anything valuable in there. They're servants. There's they might steal. An old comb. There's a couple of uh, really not in great shape shirts, like tunics. That you would expect servants to wear. There's not much in here. I'm gonna look under the beds. You're gonna look under the beds. Uh, the only the thing that kind of gives you a start is there's a rat that's looking right at you. I'm gonna look back, just okay. staring contest. It. <laughs> I'm gonna take off away. my mask. Ah, oh, damn it! I was gonna take <laughs> off my mask and you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Where to? Uh, I'll take the comb out of the locker and just hoard it, and then try this door. Oh, my favorite room in this whole place. Shit. Welcome to the library. I where love libraries. There is a dead body on the table. Oh. How dead? <laughs> Very dead. Did they maybe, like, fall off the ladder? No. So, this body, this room is covered in blood. It smells like blood and dead flesh. The body on the table has been skinned. And it is I... pinned, like the Vitruvian man, to the table with daggers mm -hmm. through its arms and legs and right through its throat. Right. I stand in the center and ping. Uh, hella evil. Is there any way to like investigate to how long? So evil, right there. Um, yes, you can make a survival check or a medicine check. Medicine check. <clears throat> I have some some research results that I need to do. Oh god. Um, but I think I need to send them to you on Discord for them to work right. Motherfucker. <laughs> because this is a very <laughs> intricate chain of events. That my divine sense doesn't detect evil, it detects um, celestial fiend undead. Um, am I getting anything? Yeah, there's an undead in this corner oh, over undead. here. Undead, excellent. Sorry, that was me. Oh, snap. Yeah. There's an undead in that corner. <laughs> but you, you turn around and there's nothing there. Oh! I just kind of um, 
a shout at Alistair, just back corner, ping. He kind of wince after I've said ping, but... <laughs> I'm going to unsheath my sword and just ram my blade in the corner. <laughs> okay. Okay, so oh, there's like multiple things happening at once. Okay, hold on. All right, Steve, gotcha. Okay, uh, yes. What are you doing, Alistair? I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna unsheath my sword and I'm just gonna ram my blade into it. Okay, as you do that, there's a. Uh, he's kind of only half there. You can only see him from like head to kind of midsection. There's a ghost of an older man standing there, and he he comes out of the corner. He's, you didn't have to do that. I wasn't going to hurt you. Better be safe. I understand. <laughs> Penelope, what did you get on your survival? Or medicine? Sorry. That was four. That was four. Bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, it, it, uh, it's the blood is congealed and there are flies. There are lots of books on the table uh, and, and medical <laughs> instruments like medical tools. And the eyes, tongue, and heart are missing from this body. Of course. I'm going to ask the kindly old ghost, Alton. Uh, no, my name's Jacob. Oh. And he points at the body. That's you. It was. You've seen better days, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Would agree, very much so. Um, uh, I'm going to remove my sword <laughs> from his midsection. <laughs> yes, he just watches and, you do it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and uh, still, I I'm going to be very wary of this entity. Okay, uh, he he's still pointing at his you're assuming now body on the table, and he says, Are you here to kill her? Who's her? More than likely. The one who did that to me. Who did that? I don't know her. I don't know her face, but... She... Are you from Haven? I'm not. What did she look like, the woman that did um, this to you? Long, dark hair, uh, green eyes, younger, maybe. I'm not sure completely, but she just, I woke up and I was on the table and I couldn't move and she was standing over me and then I don't remember anything. Was she Elvish? Uh, no. Human, maybe? He seems unsure in a lot of, in some of his answers, I should say. Why are you a ghost right now? Because that's death. his body. <laughs> death, like... I'm being vague, captive. <laughs> I can you just can you either bury me or, or or just put me put me somewhere so I can. He just kind of fades out. Uh, can I stand over the body and give it some last rites? I don't have any skills or anything, but as a paladin, I'm assuming I can do something like you that. You absolutely can do that, yes. Yeah. So I'll give him some last rites and okay. lay him as to rest as possible, promising to remove his body when we're done. He appears at your side very briefly and just nods and then just kind of disappears. Beautiful. So I've lied to a ghost, so now can I open this chest? <laughs> <laughs> You're a mad fucking paladin. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, uh, yes, you can, but you try to open it and it is locked. Can I check my body for a key? Ooh, have fun with that, but yes, you may. It's not like right. or anything. Do you want me to just try and smash the lock? I, I was going to offer that, also. just going to break it. If yeah. I have two punchy people want to try and smash the lock while I desecrate a corpse that I've just blessed, then sure, why not? 
It, I'm going to try to yeah. break the lock, though. Okay, yeah. I, I would think between you and Penelope, you both can kind of jimmy the, the lock a little bit. One of you kind of, you know, uses your weapon to hold it out, and then the other one smashes the lock down. I need you both to make de dexterity saves. This was a trapped chest, and two poison needles shoot out at you. Dex save. Dex save, yes. You get a 12, okay. I, I got a 12 also. 12, those are both fails. Um, so you're going to take a little bit of poison damage. I love poison. That is four points of poison damage to each of you. And now you have this like little barb in the side of your neck that you can just pull out. Uh, but the chest is now open. What do we see? Uh, there is a bit of a treasure trove in here. Uh, there are some bound manuscripts written in... Uh, can any of you read Orcish? Uh, no. Orcish. I have current and primordial. Okay. I have infernal and undercommon, and okay. obviously orc. I only speak common. I am a dum-dum. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm checking something. Okay. And then, um, so there's some bound manuscripts. You can tell it's orcish. You're familiar enough with it, uh, but you can't read it. And then it looks like there are some uh, business plans written in common um, about building a trade road, restoring the trade roads between Havenstown and some of the other villages. And then there's a bag of 800 gold in here. Ooh, uh, does Pinlock like, want to take the uh, orcish scrolls back to her boyfriend <laughs> later? Be like, hey, can you translate for me, Bay? Basically. <laughs> All right. So there's a body on the table. Oof. Uh, can I look through the library? Just see if I can find anything. Um. Yeah. I won't have you make a check for that. It's pretty obvious in here that. Um, the value was in the chest. The books here are very common adventure novels. There's a couple romance novels. Um, there's a few. I chuck. I chuck the romance with another novel at Noel. Okay, so what do you all think? Uh, can I um, dig through the body some more, see if there's anything of use there that Ooh, hasn't been removed? Yeah, make an investigation check. Ugh. That's grisly. It's really bad, yeah. Why don't you desecrate the dead body you just I'm, do? I'm a paladin of survival and endurance. I'm, I'm perfectly set up for getting, literally, I'm a halfling, so elbow deep into the body, trying to find anything useful. Why are you desecrating go. the body? It's only the first body. Oh no, because we didn't try and put gems in Oh yeah, that's the point. Give me the gems, I'll try and put it in the eye sockets. <laughs> I'll do I that. I kind of um, stood on the table at this point, a stride, oh, and it's just... You just need to get blood all over those gems. So gross. <laughs> Sometimes a gem is just a gem. Yeah. Y'all nasty. <laughs> Y'all need right. Jesus. I'm moving on. Where would y'all like to go? <laughs> Grossed out now. <laughs> oh, you didn't find anything in the body? Okay. No. It's, Darn. No. He, uh, he, he, he's been mutilated. Yeah. Uh, can uh, we just pause for a second before we move on? Why is Jussie not in the room? Maybe he ran away. Jussie is not in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go on, I'm going to check. Around the corner and just be like, Josie, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. So do I hear that? Yeah, you do. Okay, then I am going to um, walk upstairs. <laughs> um, what stairs? Something did, is. Did you never come up the stairs afterwards? Is he burning the thing down? Do I have to handcuff him to me? No, no, I like walk, I just very quickly, sorry, I heard the front door slam shut. And I got a little spooked and I didn't know what it was. Probably the wind. Yeah, that's what it looked like. How about you Inside stay with me? <laughs> yeah, 
Absolutely. <laughs> Insight, Alistair, uh, Jesse, uh, roll what you need to. Natural 19. <laughs> Plus your so, insight. Uh, my insight is... So, 24. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know how you want to resolve that. Because it... Uh, I don't roll anything. Oh, that's right. It's yep. just... It is just perfect. Okay. The, the, yeah. He he looks a little harried. Um, there's a little bit of sweat around his brow. But, I mean... He did just come upstairs, so. I just so, ran down there real quick. Woo wee, it was a quick run. Okay, we're gonna have a rule where you just stand by me at all. All right, that's fair. Do do I smell? Do I smell anything burning? Best friends for nope. life. If it's burning right now. No, nope. you smell the fire that you lit in the other room. <laughs> Getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we Delightful. check this door by the You certainly chest? can. Um, this is where I got myself mixed up. This is the master bedroom. Ooh. Um, it was probably very nicely appointed at one point. Uh, the furniture is solid mahogany. There is a fire in this fireplace, and there are weird candles again. Yeah, we're going to go investigate that fireplace, see if there's anything, like, in there. Uh, are there portraits? <laughs> there are no portraits. There are some landscapes, like just you know, standard landscape paintings. It looks like a, looks like what you would see from the hill going into Havenstown. Um, there is something burning in the fireplace. Oh. Can I try and put my hand into one of the landscape portraits to see whether it's actually a just, portrait? You just, you just hit canvas. Yeah. I'm going to yep. check what's. I'm going to try to grab the thing that's burning in the fireplace. Your your hand's going to hurt. That's fine. Okay. Josie, yeah. in the room with us. You're now. going to. Yep. There yep. You go. He follows. Okay. He follows. You're going to Remember, take two points of fire damage, but you do manage to pull out what look like burned or almost completely disintegrated pages. Paper. Can I. Still read anything, guys? No, it's it's so singed and blackened that as soon as you touch it, it almost just crumbles away. But it was definitely paper of some kind. I swear to God, the one time I don't have the spell that puts the fuck together is the one time I need it. Every other one of my paladins and clerics has had the spell. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna say sorry, guys. I wasn't fast enough. I'm just gonna do. Just rub my hand. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Where's Juzzy? Juzzy? He's just gone. <laughs> You're supposed to stand next to me, Juzzy. He's just gone. You tell me when I'm done. <laughs> um, but he's not there anymore. <laughs> You're such a shithead, I swear. Okay, I yeah, know. he's not there. It just You turn around and he's just gone again. Have any doors opened? Is there any signs no. of... I mean, last time he came up from downstairs, should we go look? Oh, we've still got places to check up here. Do we want to find Juzzy or do we want to... Yeah, but do we want him to be alone? Yes. <laughs> no, uh, I'm going to try to open that chest and then I think we should go look for them. The so open the chest and then go look for him. Chest is yeah, not locked. Um, there are some very nice dresses in here. They probably belonged to Isabella or Isabel Rolon. There is a gold pocket watch and a velvet pouch. What's in the pouch? It's it, the watch is in the pouch. Oh. And then um, there's a pair of men's looks like dress shoes. I'm just gonna take the watch. Okay. I'll take one of the dresses. I too will take one of the dresses. Okay. And <laughs> put it in a pouch. They're yes. very nice. They're very nice. They're probably several years out of fashion, but. I hope you're going to wear that dress and not just like. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go I... find our friend. 
So I come out to the hallway and see Juzzy to the left. Yeah, Juzzy is, is poking at the body. Oh, that's real nasty, poor guy. Juzzy, remember when you were stand right next to me? Oh, but we, okay. Do yep, we have you're right. hold hands? No, Where were you? Juzzy's, I was right here poking at the body. And Juzzy came to the side. He's like that kid that you have to put a leash on. There is a slight shake underneath your feet. And you what hear did you do, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I've been right here the whole time. There oh, inside you, Jack. you hear right this. Here. You hear this. Boom. And it smells like something's burning. Did you set fire to the bags of flour? No. Why would you do this to us? I didn't do this. A giant octopus did it. Is that is this one of the your voices in your head? Again. Huh? No, I didn't. I was right here poking the body, and I was right behind y'all. And we came upstairs, and we looked around up here, and it was real cool. And then I heard the door slam, and I checked it out, and I came back right back up. But then, like, I didn't get really to look at the body as much as I wanted to, so I came back in here. I don't know what that is. I'm downstairs. going downstairs. You were going downstairs. Um, there is a fire raging in the front of the house, and it smells. That's like not good at all. Burning flour and alcohol. So it it is a wow. fire that can't be turned. This is a fire that is going to consume the house if y'all don't get out. If you don't. Right. Can we get to down? No, we, do we even? Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! I, I is visibly panicking right now. <laughs> you have a um. couple of options. Um, you could try to get out the front door. You'd have to go past the fire, or you could try to take the stairs down into the bottom half of the house to get away from it. Let's go to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. Okay. Oh no, this is a real conundrum. This is a real bottom. What happened? Oh, Jesus. Can I set fire to the body quickly as we run? Just okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Got it. So the, the house is actively on fire at this point. Um, and then you manage to get down the stairs, gosh, I cannot believe you did that, um, into the cellar, and you're pretty sure that you're safe down here. Um, you're away from the fire, and this is all stone, so this is not going to burn, but you may want to try to get away from the, where the fire is up above you as much as possible. <laughs> Jazzy, Jazzy, huge smile. Oh man, this is terrible. Whew, we better get away from that big old scary fire. Wow. I really want to throw him into the fire. <laughs> I think we made the decision that you need to hold my hand time so we can like know where you are. Oh, Jazzy's a grown up. Even though I'm only three feet tall. <laughs> So there is a, this is a cellar. There are um, some doors, but there's a, a hallway here. Let me give you a little bit of that so you can kind of see. I'm looking out there. Can I just lay a hand on just his shoulder and just, can you start that fire? No. Honest to blob, I didn't start no fire. It was a giant octopus. Inside check. That is an it. accurate statement. Why don't we believe you? That... All right. Yeah. Um, and roll, what do roll, you want me to roll? Roll what you need to. Per okay. I, I uh, trust I you. I think I know what it is. Yep. It's 11. Uh, 22. Yeah, he's actually <laughs> telling the truth about the giant octopus. Oh. Where did this giant octopus come from? I don't know, but it's what slammed the door and it was real big. And then it just like dragged all the furniture and stuff into the fireplace and pff, there it went. Why didn't you try was... to stop it? Um, look at me. I'm three feet tall. So... <laughs> Why did you come get us? I mean, because I was just standing at the top of the stairs and it seemed like you know, it was fine. It's going to be we fine. We were don't in shopping it. distance. It Why did you come long. get us? Well, I wanted to poke the body. Not when we were downstairs. You could have had longer to poke the body if there 
Well, it don't matter now. It's not oh. gonna, it's not gonna catch fire down here. Anybody want like maybe a like me to warm up your pants a little bit with Sacred Flame, make you feel more comfortable? You want like a Kleenex, maybe a snack pack. I want to put a leash on you. <laughs> Muzzle too. All right. Do, do we see anything of interest in the cell? I'm just going to walk. Uh, some closed doors, and then this door here is slightly ajar. I'm just going to walk past Jesse and just like, you're an asshole. Shoulder bump him. Um, Jesse will just move into the corner. <laughs> the door that it's, a, that it's ajar, is it like, do you reckon I could get a playing card through there? Yeah. Can I slide one of my cards of illusion underneath there and see if there's a reaction when it casts on the other side? Mm -hmm. There is no reaction. This room. Ooh, spooky! Oh snap! Oh snap! And candles. So creepy candles, creepy pasta. Uh, there's a coffin, and there is a bloody handprint on the wall behind the coffin. Hey Jesse, you want to go open the coffin for us? Sure. Jesse, without it. hesitation, will start moving towards the coffin to open it for them. God okay. Damn it. She was where, asked to do so. Where would you save the illusion landed just so I could make a mark for my reference? About I'm trying to take a six foot range on the throw, but it was uh, through a cracked door. I would say probably over in. Well, if it was cracked open, it would be over here. Yeah, that's fine. Just, I'll just I can, make a little mark. Oh, sure. No. Yep. I was going to do the same thing. There you go. Perfect. Um, uh, what will it be? Illusion of? Let's have a look. Let's, Let's find look. out. Uh, I can't remember how many friggin' options there are. <laughs> a lot. Roll the d20 and do the first 20. It's easier. Okay. Three. So, so three. that is a, a succubus. Succubus. There's a succubus over here now, guys. Yeah. Ooh, succubuses are fun. They're pretty. Yeah. So I <laughs> warn the Alistair and Pell that it's an illusion. We've seen me cast them before. Um just yeah. just juzzy. <laughs> As the succubus appears wait, would I yeah, can I like roll to see if I know that it's an illusion? Totally. Uh, yeah. Make an intelligence check. Oh, I that's my worst one. I'm gonna look at the pretty lady. That is a four. I totally don't know it's an illusion. <laughs> um, so d not realizing that it's an illusion, Juzzy will actually turn to it. And <laughs> so he's speaking infernal. <laughs> well, where do succubuses come from? That is the question now, isn't it? Which uh, fiend are succubus? Hmm. <laughs> she just smiles at you and flicks her tail a little bit. <laughs> and Jesse will just turn around. <laughs> Uh, in the coffin are two sets of bloody eyeballs and a tongue. Oh, so that's like half the parts that were removed from the cups of stairs. And there are the some heart. stairs going down. In the, in the coffin? coffin. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, we can go down later. I think we should check the rest of the cellar. Job, sure, I'm game for that. Um, I'll quite happily poke my head in this room here. Is there anything else besides the coffin inside this room? No, other than just some boxes and... Uh... Jesse, come hold my hand so you okay. don't, like, go down the stairs and find... <laughs> okay. How about I... I just, Jesse, just try to jump on your back and, and just ride you like Luke Skywalker and Yoda? No, I prefer hand-holding. <laughs> All right, that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna put a leash on you. All right. So, are you just all opening doors? Is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think we're just exploring. Okay. Understood. Just wanted to make sure I was opening the right ones here. Um, uh, yeah, this is definitely all storage uh, that you're you're looking at, um, except for there. Oh. There's a chest in there. There's a couple. Oh yeah, shit. 
So and in here. Chest there mm -hmm. and chest there. I'll check this. <clears throat> okay. Uh, gonna check it for traps first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> investigation check. So bad at that. <laughs> That's a three. A three. Um, it's not locked, so... Still, I'm going to be cautious. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably I'm wise. My I'm going to step like this, and I'm just going to try to jimmy it up with my... Okay. Sword. Okay. Uh, there is the... It opens up. There's no trap, so you're okay there. And in this are more of those candles, but they're not lit. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll pick one up. Okay. Does it ignite? It does not. So I'm going to keep holding it for a while. Just see if it ignites. Okay. Can I try the chest in room six, please? Mm hmm. That one is also not locked. I, I'm just kind of. I'll open it. I'll take whatever comes. <laughs> okay. No, uh, no traps. Uh, and in the bottom of this is nothing. Okay, okay. That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I step out and just see Juzzy running away from Pete and Love going, Juzzy! No, wait, I have an idea. And Juzzy no. casts Detect Magic in the middle mm -hmm. of the room. What's the radius on that? 30 feet of you, uh, but I will walk around and concentrate on it. You have it, yes. Okay, so where would you like to... You don't get anything immediately other than the yeah. candle in Alistair's hand. There's a there's a way to do this. Hold on. Yep. Apologies, my cat is talking. <laughs> hey, there we go. So I think that's 30 feet. I think you're right. Yeah, it's a radius, so yes. Um, okay, so nothing in the immediate. Yes, my candle off of that chest. Chest, mad chest. That chest is magic. Yeah. And just <laughs> point to that, and then he will go in here. Okay, nothing in there. I'll cut. All right, I'll come down to this door. Down to there, and uh, yeah, that barrel in the corner. This one. Yep. Okay. Um, let me get. <laughs> All right. Uh, might as well get this one too. Uh, come over in the, this direction. Okay. No, and then we'll do a full sweep on this room. Uh, I mean, necromancy from the body parts. Right, 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 right. right. But, but nothing, nothing else. Like untoward. Okay. Nope. So two pings and then that candle that Alistair has. Okay. Um, so this magic. Mm -hmm. yeah, the candle's magic, and then Jesse uh, will check out the chest in room six okay. and see if I think I can get. Can I still get more? Inf uh, I no. Oh, I can learn at school of magic. Yeah, uh, what was school of magic? Illusion. Okay. Um, there's some kind of illusion there. Uh, keep note of that one, and then um, can I get the school from? The barrel in three. Uh, that is also illusion. Okay. Um, so we'll start off with just a dispel on the illusion. Uh, the one you're in? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So dispel. Yep. The um, When you dispel that, the bottom of the chest was an illusion. And there's a compartment underneath it. And sitting in the middle of the compartment is a leather bound... Uh, journal. Boop a doo! Chest oh. opening music from Jazzy. Um, and I'll do the same <laughs> thing to the barrel in okay. three. The barrel in three is not a barrel. It is a body. Oh, that's fun. It's a skeleton, to be uh, more exact. Okay. And yeah. it looks old. Very old. Mm -hmm. So tip, tip. there's an old dead guy in here. <laughs> uh, can I take out the uh, journal and throw it to Sane? Yes, you can do that. The journal will not bite you. 
<laughs> Not the monster, but the monster. No. Hi, kitty cat. Pee. Ow. I will um, cast protection from evil and good on myself. Um, just in case. Okay. And open up the journal. Okay. Uh, cool. Nothing happens, so you're you're uber protected. Yes. Um, this is written in a clearly feminine hand, and the front page of it says this journal belongs to Faviana Relon. Does it hold anything of note as I flick through it? As you flip through it, most of it's pretty boring. It sounds like the ramblings of a teenage girl who's bored and is uh, tired of all of the books in the library and wants to go traveling with her brother but her father won't let her. And then as the entries progress, they get angrier. There is, there's more ranting. There's a, and then the last four entries are the ones that you notice. And I am actually going to give you those entries. So. <laughs> let me plop those into roll 20 for you. Uh, but I can summarize them as I go which is essentially that the first one talks about how um, she is uh, upset at her father again. No one understands her but her older brother, Tybalt, because they're both uh, very smart, and Tybalt has plans about running away to one of the nearby towns and attending school there and starting a business, and that's she wants to go to school and her father won't let her. So, as soon as it loads, it's taking forever. <laughs> the second one, I can give you this here. Do, do, do. Sorry, people on the stream, ignore me. Banana. Yes, exactly. Uh, the second one is much shorter. So, I, I, you can see it on stream, but I'll, I'll give it to you here. Uh, it says, Tomorrow night we leave. I cannot be wait. It cannot wait to be rid of this house and this town and this part of the world. It's a chance to start over. I'm nearly done packing, and tomorrow night, Tybalt will wait until father and mother have retired to saddle our horses and wait below my window. We're traveling light, so I'm only taking what I absolutely need, and we'll ride through the night. Every mile we ride is one more mile between us and this horrid place. The third, uh, second to last journal entry, I should say, is uh, the page is uh, got blood splatters on it. And it just says, he's dead. I can't, but he's dead. The damage one broken lantern can do. The damage one sidestep from a plan can do. I only wanted to take father's books with me, a final insult to how he's treated me all these years. I thought I might use them to blackmail his business partners and secure more funds for our travels, but books catch fire very easily. And when Tybalt came to rescue me and put out the fire, everything was lost. He burned in front of me. Okay. Well, that's sad. That's very sad. And then the last one has a very familiar symbol that you've seen before. Uh, two concentric circles on the bottom of it. And it reads, We've abandoned Havenstown, our home. Tilbert lies cold and ruined in his tomb. Mother has lost all connection to reality, having now lost both of her sons. And father does not speak to me. He blames me for Tybalt and for our ruination. So I have left. I stole away like we were supposed to months ago in the dead of night. I don't remember falling asleep in a cold, barren field, but she found me. The Lady of Loss has come calling. I've heard of her before, but she was always wreathed in mystery and danger. Fear of the unknown of what her followers tap into. But she is the night devouring the light of the moon and may be a beacon for me. I know not what she asks of me, but I'm willing to pay it. We may be yet uh, reunited. So the sister is trying to resurrect her brother. That is the impression that you're getting. Uh, Are there any descriptions of the Lady of Lost? There, or is it just what we heard? I'm going to need you to make a religion check on that one. Do it, man. You've got this. Roll well. <laughs> 13. 13's good enough. Yes. 
you know exactly who she's talking about. She's talking about Long Char. Long hair, green eyes. <laughs> she's talking about Char, the goddess of loss and resurrection. She is um, eternally mysterious. She's thought of to be extremely dangerous. Her most zealous followers commit heinous acts in her name. Can I check out that skeleton? Mm -hmm. Yes, you may. Make a either investigation or medicine if you've got a better score for one of them. Uh, what is it? it investigation or... Investigation or medicine. Well, no, sir. Medicine is wisdom, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so I'll take medicine. Okay. Fair enough. Ten. Um, it's clearly old. Um, just by kind of piecing together what you know, you do see gouge marks around the eye sockets. And you do see that the rib cage is not whole. Um, with just kind of taking in everything that you've learned, it's a decent guess that this may have been her first victim. Jazzy moves in to take a look, too. <laughs> Anything more with a 20? Uh, yes, this was definitely a uh, someone with an unskilled hand. The attempt to break open the rib cage, but they weren't clearly weren't sure what they were doing. They did more. Well, see, you just didn't have a rib spreader. That's just an amateur <laughs> mistake right there. Amateur mistake. It's Bush it, League. There look is at a, these sloppy um, cuts. Ugh. Uh, what I, what's the word I want to use? There's a shattering of the rib cage that doesn't happen unless you use excessive force. See this right here. This is just mm, crime of passion. I'm telling you what. Look at that. That that shatter and that's not right. Mm -mm. That body upstairs was processed so good, so nice. It looked like like a butcher had done it. This just looks like an amateur. Mm, just as disappointed. I mean, at least they leveled up their skill. That's true. You, practice does make perfect. Like starting fires. That was an octopus. It was, somehow. <laughs> he, is, he is telling the truth about the octopus. I cannot be more blatant about that. Um, by this point, the fire upstairs, there's been enough smoke roll down the stairs to all of you that it, it might be a good moment to m try to move on. Um, only because it's starting to also get down in this area as well. All right. So, we're going to go through the coffin. Might as well. Let's coffin it up. Okay. So down you go. Before we start coffin. Ah. Ah. Did you see it? Ugh. I don't feel safe. I'm, I need to I'm, I'm so grossed out right now. Um, okay. So I'm going to put you all, not the drawing. I'm going to put you all down here where you walk down. Coughing from the smoke. Like the smoke coming down the stairs. Like <coughs> this room. Oh my lord. Into this room. Uh, and the stone down here is different. It is uh, of slightly different construction. And you you walked a ways. You walked down several flights of narrow stone steps to get here. You want to take your glow off there, Jazzy? Oh yeah, I'll uh Oh yeah, I'll take it off. Has it been 10 minutes? It's been, yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Um I'll take it down. Okay. Do we see the uh what the stone with the light spell had gone off? Oh yeah, have we found that yet? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Nope. If there's no light down here, I'll do that to another rock okay. and carry it with me. It's it's <laughs> dim down here. You can see, but uh, without anyone without dark I'll just go ahead and do that, yeah. Okay. Fuck it, just... I can see pretty well. Okay. I can't. Nope. So, the room Lines. that you're kind of looking into here is uh, flooded. There's some flood damage down here. Uh, and there's actually a loose uh, stone coffin kind of half-tipped into the water. It looks like it came out from this wall. So, might that be the tomb that the brother was put in? Light. 
Can you try pinging? No, I've got one spell slot left, and to be honest, I've, I've, sorry, in character, I've only got one good spell left in me, and I'd rather save it for healing. I, I, my gut, I feel something big's coming. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to peek around the corner. Do I see anything? A lot of water damage and a lot of stone. Um, from where you're at, kind of vantage point, you see that there's another short hallway here. And you do see the briefest flicker of candlelight in this direction. Do we want to disturb the sarcophagus? Can I throw another illusion into the candlelight? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'll cast an illusion towards candlelight. Okay. So use your deck and toss it that way. Yeah, uh, d20. Wherever it lands, it's going to form a... A bugbear. Okay, so in... A bugbear has just landed right here, so I'll give you that. Um, there are three stone coffins here, all closed, and one of them has candles lit on the top of it. And there's a bugbear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there's a there's a bugbear. I'm going to unsheath my sword. <laughs> We're going to get ready to rumble. Okay, at this point, I think uh, my divine sense isn't actually spelled, so I will ping. You will ping? I will start okay. and ping. Um, there's no, no. No. Nope. Right, then I'm going to jimmy up this sarcophagus. You're going to get into the water. Um, oh god damn it. The yes, water is I'm about waist water. high. It smells awful. It smells like it's been stagnant for a really long time. Uh and as you kind of like try to pop open the lid of the sarcophagus, go ahead and make a strength check for me. Kitty cat. Strength uh mm -hmm. ten. Ten. It ugh, you get it up just enough where you can kind of see in there and there's a body. There's just bones. Nothing shiny? Nope. Mm, and just close it. Okay. But you don't get attacked in the water, so. Nothing <laughs> tries, to, tries to come up and grab you. You never know, there could have been a giant off. Um, as you all Jesse, start to kind of like move into that hallway, you hear a, why don't you come down the other direction and we'll talk? Wait, what? <laughs> Lost you there for a second. Oh, there's just this voice emanating from this direction. And they just say, follow the light. Come down this way and we'll have a chat. What? Why? Uh, uh, bollocks. Who are you? Well, don't you want to know who's been killing everyone? No. <laughs> I don't see how you're getting out of here since my house has been set on fire. Hey, did you ever get that rib spreader? I could do more than that. They're real cheap. <laughs> Josie, stop antagonizing the murderous lady. Potential goddess. I'm just saying uh, that if you're no, going to do it... Don't, don't just say, shush. <laughs> Sir. If that'll uh, make you happy. It'll make all of us very happy. Do we see down the other way? Or is it there no hallway there? Yes, there is. And there is a hallway and some rubble. Uh, and then there's this little. Uh... Jesse, Jesse, he's running. Jesse just Jesse's goes Bilbo Bagginsing down the hallway. There's an orb that appears this direction and starts right. to float off this way. Um, Jesse, get back here. What's this haze above the coffin that Alistair's just gone towards? Or is that just light? It's just light and shadow and some, like, dirt. I'm gonna try to open it. Strength check. These are heavy. Uh, 23. Okay. 
So when you slide the lid off, you manage to heft this one up, and there is a body at rest. Um, it's definitely a skeleton, but it's still got a little bit of clothing um, that's not rotted all the way through. It looked like it was a probably a nice dress at one point. Um, uh, and there are, is a uh, small velvet pouch to the right of the skeleton's kind of midsection. What's in the pouch? Uh, a big-ass diamond. Taking it? You can put big, big ass diamond in your inventory. Big ass diamond. Big ass diamond. Jesse, where are you going? Jesse is poking around this corner. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, uh, just it's, it's rubble. following the voice. It's rubble. Oh no, the voice was north. Oh, pff, I'm an idiot. No, you're not. Uh, yeah, we're not. I will poke this way. I will poke while I'm here. While you're there, um, there are more more sarcophagi. Um, a lot of cave-ins and rubble and damage. And then part of the floor looks like it's kind of glowing right there. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm gonna run after Jesse. Okay. Oh, shiny! And Jesse will, yes, walk not onto them, but closer to them. But closer to it. There's a little bit of arcane feedback the closer you get to it, like a warning mm -hmm. shot almost. Mm-hmm. Um, I am gonna just dispel that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you dispel it, and you are pretty sure it's a good thing you did that, because it was clearly some kind of, like, glyph of warding or something. Yeah, Jazzy just, like, blinks at it a few times, and then just, like, <laughs> starts blowing away the arcane symbol. <laughs> and he, like, messes one up in a couple other spots, and... <laughs> Yep. Then he messes that one up, and then when he's done, it looks like a cat face. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you watch him do this, and it does actually start to dispel in pieces, and then you realize that you could probably walk across that floor pretty easily. Don't mess up the cat face! And Jesse steps over the space. Oh, God. Okay. Into... For the record, though, that's my last dispel. That's all I got. Go. Oh, thanks, friend. Um, as you start to walk this direction, you hear that voice again, and she says, well, not the way you could have gone, but sure, why not find another path? Pathfinders. Wrong game. Wrong game. <laughs> to explore. And yeah, as you walk hard. into this cavern, you realize that the tunnels you were in were way narrow compared to this underground area uh, that you see. Oh, shit. And there is a lake. There is an, a stone altar with a body on it. And then there is another body over here and two zombies. And I'll put those on the map for you so you can kind of see them. I don't know where my tokens went, but they disappeared. And standing in front of the altar, just kind of looking at all of you very curiously, is a uh, woman with long, dark hair and bright green eyes and she's just kind of kind of cocking her head at you hi friend can i stand and ping <laughs> yes well one uh, clearly undead because there's two zombies <laughs> yep yep I'll... uh and I'm then warm. there is the the barest hint of or not the barest hint i shouldn't say it's stronger than what you get off of alistair but it's a combination of undead and celestial coming off of the woman in front of you Mom. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is your trial, Alistair. You have to kill your mom. Mm. Um, she just, she's just looking at all of you. I'm assuming there's a reason you all have invaded my sanctuary. Yeah, you've been killing some people. It's not cool. I turned to people and just whisper, she's not fully human. Uh, godly <laughs> and... Dead. Godly dead. So oh, many other manners of things. Uh, I'm just going to recast light, by the way, take okay. it off myself and put it on a static area right there. Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, she just, just kind of curiously looks at you. Well, she's, she's really looking at Juzzy's. Does your boss know you're down here? Uh huh. I already burned it upstairs. Or the octopus did. Hi! I don't think my boss will like that much. 
Well, your boss can suck a dick, dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> My boss will rip your bones from your fucking face and then eat your teeth and then make you watch puppy videos. Uh, Alistair is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> it's till the time. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so disturbed. Okay. So, uh, oh, and I will also note that you recognize the zombies from their, their oil paintings that you burned in the dining room. That is Alton and Isabel Rolon standing there. I'm going to... Uh, did we ever know what the daughter's name was? Fabiana Rolon. Fabiana. I'm going to ask her if her name is... I thought you already knew it. I'm just making sure I was she pronouncing it correctly. Reaches out into just midair and a light, kind of close to the one that she sent your way that you chose not to follow, um, lands into her hand. And when she crushes it in her fist, you hear this scream echo through mm. the cavern. Mm. Now, can I continue with my business or are you going to try to interrupt me again? You're welcome Is to watch. Business? Is, is your business uh, resurrecting your brother? And she spins away from the altar and you can see there's a, a youngish man, what's left of him, he's charred, on the altar. It is. So does your business involve killing? I am required to make certain sacrifices. Because we, we gotta stop the killing. It's not cool. I'm done after the succeed. If you want to stay and watch, I'm assuming some of you like to do that. Guys, I think we're going to be going up against the minion of Shah. I, I think we should kill her something good. I just If there's something you I want to fire know. off, you can. I'm I'm just going to ask, uh, did you enjoy watching me sleep? Oh. Well, I thought about slitting your throat, but I figured you would make a better thrall. Damn, I missed that. <laughs> oh, she says, oh, I thought about slitting your throat, but I thought you'd make a better thrall. You're make too pretty to zombie. kill. Yeah. Um, can oh, I, Jesse thinks you're cute! Can That's I bless cute. everybody but Juzzy, uh, me, Alistair, and Penelope? <laughs> Was everyone except Juzzy? That's fair. No, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, is Yes, you can do that, but as soon as you do that, she's going to whip around and fire a spell at you, and then we'll go into initiative. Well, as he does yep. that, I'm going to, uh, that readied action, yes. I'm going to cast silence on her in that same light area, that 20 foot. Okay. So, so okay, bye so bye spell. <laughs> bless goes off. Uh, bless gives us all, um, me, mm -hmm. Alison, and Penelope gives us, I believe. I'll just see if I can ping it. Where the hell have you gone? Ah, panic! Bless. Uh, I'll cast it at level one, it's easy. Okay. Yep, so up to three creatures of your choice within range. Um, whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw, uh, you get an additional d4 on it, basically. Nice, thank you, man. Uh, but it's only while I'm con uh, up to a minute, basically, so it's while gotcha. we start. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and I have to check what she was going to fire off real quick to see if there was a verbal component to it. Yes. Yeah. Because if there was, then that's fun. Um, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We watch her try to cast a spell. This is true, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then uh, she can't get worse. There was a verbal component, so that does not go off. And then we will go into initiative. Jesse just goes... Shh. Knock it off. <laughs> okay. So let's let's do it. Uh, fifteen for me. Okay. Four. Oh. Or twelve. I don't know which one you want to take. I'll take either one. Which one? I, I did my thing. Oh. I'll take the four. That was the one that I already put in. Oh, okay. Sixteen. <laughs> Also 12. They rolled a 2. 
<laughs> Two. What did you get, Penelope? Right. I'm sorry. Sixteen. Sixteen. Ooh, nice. All right. In the turn order. Okay, so she is staring at all of you and she says, Fine. I'll just use you to raise him even faster. Well, that's what her lips say. Right. Okay, so villain speeches are way less scary when you can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're out here. You're, right. you're a little power boy can suck a dick. <laughs> you broke the DM. So, that's amazing. Penelope, you are first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get first, light. I'm going to move a little bit away from everyone. And then I have a javelin. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right. So just if you go in the blue circle, you just can't cast any spells. Okay, I'm, I'm not. You can. Nothing spells. else will happen to you. <laughs> For sure, I promise that. <laughs> I don't know if I trust you, but uh, does it cancel previously used spells or are they? No, still... I no. It's not like an anti magic field. It's right. just a silence. So anything with a verbal component can't go off. Beautiful. I got a nat twenty on that throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So it needs um, they, she needs to make a DC, a uh, Dex saving throw. Dex. Okay. Yep. Uh, what's the DC? Thirteen. Thirteen. No, that's an eleven. Oh, so that is four D six. Ouch! Holy shit! And also the job. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hurt. There's gonna be some math. Hold on. No, it's all right. It's all good. Wish I had a net to throw on her. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I have a net? Nets fix everything. Hey, that's gonna be twenty-five. Ouch! Yeah, that lightning javelin hits her in the side and rips open <laughs> her dress, and you can watch this little kind of like almost arcane field off of her flicker in and out a little bit, and then it restores itself. And that lightning, when it hits her, just you know, it's like in a cartoon where you can see their skeleton inside. You can see a little bit of her skull light up. It's really creepy looking. And she, <sighs> but you can't hear her. She's just pissed. Okay. Did you want to move? Um, no. I'll end my turn there because I'm. Okay. All right. Hmm. Uh, Alistair and Zane are at the same initiative, so you can choose who goes first, or you can use it by Dex modifier. It's up to you. Okay. Can I? Can I go first? I'm go for it. All right. Uh, I'm just going to say, should have slit my throat while you had the chance. And Russian. She can't hear. She can't hear your cool line. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I said it before. I might did. I know, but she can't hear. She no. She's deafened uh, completely in the oh, sphere. Silence. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, All right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to hit it. Okay. Uh, natural 18, so 26. Yes, that will hit. And I'm going to use a trip attack. Oh, okay. So that's... Uh, it's, is it a strength? Yeah, strength, strength saving throw. Strength save, and, okay. Yeah, my DC is 16. Hilarious. Her strength is not good. <laughs> that's a 3! <laughs> nice. So now she's <laughs> Prone. Oh shit! All right. Bam. God, it's so much worse when your casters can't cast. <laughs> uh, that's eighteen points of damage. No, yes, eighteen points of damage. Eighteen. Death. Okay. And then uh, now I get advantage, right? Yes, she is prone, and you are in melee. Uh, 20 to hit then. That hits. 
and 13 damage. 13 damage. Okay. That's my turn. That is your turn, Zane. She's prone. Oh, oh I was going to do something cool, but I think I'm just going to go whale on her. Um, <laughs> so with me being tiny, can I, I can sprint for all these spaces. Yes. And just... Yep, Land you can there. move around your companions, yeah. Yep. And then I will one handed sword stab her. Ouch, yep, do it with advantage. Uh, and actually, let's have a look. What am I like? What am I like? What am I like? I'll stick a branding smite on there as well. So a branding smite start off with. That'll add seven if it hits. But does it have a verbal component? Shit, point. Yeah, I, I, if I'm gonna be a dick about silence, I have to be a dick to everybody. No, unfortunately, do. it's the way. It's fantastic. Ah, it might. Just, yeah, it's just gonna be easier to search because it tries to cast. Uh, yeah, it is only verbal. Oh, joyous! Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So branding smite, and then I will just stab hard. Okay, stabbing is <laughs> stab <enough>. hard. <laughs> 21. Yep, that hits. Don't worry, when she stands up, you're both going to get opportunity attacks. Yep, and then so that's 1d8 plus 3 plus 3. 1d8. Oh, that's a d6. Bug it. 1d8. Same roll anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 12 damage. 12 damage, okay. Very good. Yeah, she's getting stabbed and bludgeoned and slashed at. Um, and you just watch when you when you land that hit on her Zane, you watch her eyes flash from green to blue and then back to green, and she almost kind of starts to flicker a little bit. Um, okay, good. All right, she is uh, going to get up because <laughs> she's going to, and as she kind of struggles to her feet, she reaches out. And another one of those lights from the lake zooms right into her hand and she crushes it. And you can't hear the scream if you're inside the circle, but Penelope and Juzzy can hear the scream in the cave again. And mm. her uh, form uh, resettles from its flickering. And she pulls herself up and she is going to move uh, mm. that so if direction. If we a dick about the silence, we wouldn't have even heard that, would we? Because no. no sound could be created within. No. So nobody would have heard that because it's from within the. That's true, thing. yes. Uh, and then Zane and Alistair, if you both want to make opportunity attacks, you can. I'm going to make it. Okay. It was only a nine. I rolled a ten. Those both miss, unfortunately. Uh, and then she is going to turn to. Oh, let's see who she's going to target, because Juzzy was the one who kind of threw her off. Yep. Uh, and is going to shoot this line of pure black energy at you, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, let's see. As a 15. That is a fail. Ooh. You Darn it. Okay. are going to take a shit ton of necromantic damage. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> Those were not good. The double ones. Uh... That is 41 points of necrotic damage to you. Whoo-wee, so my hit point total goes down? Nope, you just take the damage. Uh, she she hits you with blight. And you just, a penelope, you see it immediately. You watch his skin go black in places and start to slough off. And he smells like carrion, like a dead deer on the side of the road. Sorry about your luck, Jazzy. <laughs> No worries. <laughs> and it is your turn. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is like a body of water behind her. Huh? Yes, it is. It is an underground lake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go five foot step over there. Okay. <clears throat> and then um, 
I've been looking for the right way to use this, oh, and I God. figured it out. Oh, you remember that magic item I took? Yes. Oh, you fuck it was? you. <laughs> Oh, okay, <laughs> so Jesse pulls out what looks like a small jug from his pouch, and he shakes it up, and he goes, "Fuck you!" And then he <laughs> opens it and shoots the geyser out of the decanter of endless water. Yes, thirty foot long, one foot wide, thirty gallons of water. Can hit with a fucking fire hose. <laughs> yeah. DC thirteen strength saving throw, but either way, she will be pushed fifteen feet away from me. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, no, that was a two. And she takes 1d4 plunging damage and is pro. <laughs> In the water. In the water. <laughs> boink, boink, right there. Okay. So she just, and you watch, you all watch her just get hit with this line of water like a fire hose and goes <laughs> flying, pinwheeling into the lake. <laughs> Give me the damage. It's just 1d4. Uh, it is, I know, but it's still funny. Uh, two. It's two. two. I feel like that really should be more. That's a lot of water. Uh, I'm more willing to take it that she's, like, a little stunned and underwater. Yeah, she's definitely underwater. She's going to have to surface, but she's going to lose all of her movement uh, next Ooh. round. That's Jesse funny. just starts laughing. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> while he's like rotting. It's amazing. <laughs> Good in the um, spirits while he's dying. And then I think that's it. Oh, shit. Okay. So. Um, oh, as a bonus action, I'll cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. <laughs> of, course. of course. Of course. Uh, this zombie's going to come over here to you, Zane. This one's going to come over to Penelope. And they're both going to just going to try to swipe at you. It's not like they can do much. <laughs> Um, but it's a, it's, so it's two, it's one, it's two fists on each of you. Um, so on, we'll do Zane first. Uh, that's a natural 20. Oh. And then a, uh, dirty 20. So. Okay, yeah, I'm on the class 18, so. Assuming this both hit. It. Okay, so on the nat 20, it is nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And on the dirty 20, it is six points of bludgeoning damage. And then on Penelope, same thing, because they really don't can't do much other than try to punch you. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. Um, that's a 14 to hit and a 10. Okay, I have 13, so the one so hits. So the one hits, okay. That's going to be four points of bludgeoning damage to you then. Okay. So, ooh, first round. Now it's Penelope's turn. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go into a frenzy. Megan. Yeah, small. Which means I get one bonus action. Oh, nice. Okay. End of my turn. So I'm with uh, my my axe at home, my great axe. And that is going to be a. 14. That will hit. They're zombies. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not particularly good ones. So that's 10 points of damage. Okay. And this is on. And then, for, okay. and then for my bonus action, I'm going to hit him again with my. Okay. That is an 18. To hit or damage? Sorry. Uh, for a hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. And then that's 19 for damage. Oh, he goes down. <laughs> you cut him in half. He just, he, yeah. you just chop him across the chest and what little bit of energy was holding him together just kind of just slides apart and two halves of his body go opposite directions. Nice. <laughs> um, I'll stop concentrating, by the way, and drop this silent. Okay, so that'll go. Yeah, you would have had to make a con check anyways. Yeah, I which yeah, you would have super failed. <laughs> probably. Yeah. yeah. So, um, unless I rolled like a twenty, but right. anyway, so that's gone. Okay, got it. Um, okay. Happy with your damage there, Penelope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One zombie down. All right. I like to smash things. Uh, 
Alistair and Zane. Uh, I'll chop the Sompi up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, before I roll, I'm going to take that minus five penalty to my attack roll. Got from it. Kratos. Yep. I rolled a 13, so 21 minus 5, so 16. Yeah, that hits. All right. Twenty-eight. Whew. It's barely standing. You actually have cut one of the arms off, and it's kind of like toppled to the side. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just going to attack it again. Okay. Uh, eighteen to it. Eighteen hits. Uh, 15 points of damage. Ouch. Again, just you cut the head off and cut the legs off at the same time almost. You're so fast <laughs> that you chop it into pieces. And Isabel, uh, Roland's head goes flying one way, her legs go flying the other way, and the stump of the body's in the middle. Nice. Uh, I think I'm uh, 30 feet from her. Yes. Uh, do I want to go into the water? Fight in the water. And then is it deep? It, is she uh, like swimming? Uh, well, you blew her backwards, so she's gonna have to get up. But mm -hmm. it's it's probably chest high. Drowner. Okay. Drowner. So, okay. Down and drowner. Actually, uh, I, I'm gonna do that. It's I'm not gonna a do bad it. idea. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> jump into the water and try to grapple her, holding her down. Uh, well, I'm that gonna... would be a grapple, and you've used your action. Uh, so, but I get a bonus attack. From... It, action and attack are different things. Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately. All right. Uh, then I'm just going to hit her. Now, yeah, we'll you could try to bonus. knock her unconscious. Watch out. And just, like, whap her, and then you just... She'll just float. <laughs> You'll float, too. It's, hey. it's a cold <laughs> shot, so you'd have disadvantage on it. Uh, but she's prone, right? So it's straight shot. Yes. Well, it's difficult because she's down in the water right now. So trying to aim and with the um, the displacement of the water, it, you'd still be at disadvantage. All right. Uh, I'm in the water anyway, so. Okay. It's Take up to you. It. Yep. Uh, I rolled a 13 and a 12, so 20 or 20. So 20. 20 total? Yeah, that that yeah. will hit. Uh, 17 points. Okay. Now, are you purposely trying to, to pummel her about the head, or are you just trying to hit her? I'm just trying to use the uh, pummel of my Hana sword okay. to knock okay. her out. Understood. All right. Yeah, she takes the hit, but she's angrily looking at you. Um, you can tell she's going to surface and probably come for you. I'm just smiling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Zane. I sprint over to Juzzy. I uh, just go, hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, buddy, let's, let's mm -hmm. try and fix all of that. And I lay on hands and give him 20 hit points. Oh. Woohoo! That was my next move, too. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No worries. Buddy. It's going to be a bit better if you're a bit less melty. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't really have anything that's bonus. Everything's just actions. So I'll end my turn there. Okay. Um, she is going to kind of smile at you, Alistair, and say, oh, you would have been so pretty. And just reaches around you and is going to throw a fireball at your companions. Holy shit. That's rude. Cool. <laughs> we were back uh, there. Sanctuary does nothing for that because it's area of effect. Yep. So yeah. that's going to be a deck save for the other three on the ground there. Uh, you said it's a dex? Dex save. Yep. 13. Nope. Fail. Shit. Uh, 18. 
18 succeeds. Uh, so Zane and Juzzy fail. Penelope, you are going to take half. Okay. So that is... Not rolling great. <laughs> Good. Good. Not. We don't want you to roll great. It is 28 points of damage to Zane and to Juzzy and 14 to Penelope fire damage. I bet you were not rolling great. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a I rolled a couple of ones and twos in there. He's like, oh, uh, and then she is going to reach out one more time behind her and say, you know, I was saving these for a special occasion, but you're forcing my hand here, and crushes another orb, and that scream echoes out in the cavern. And her uh, armor kind of uh, looks like it's <laughs> powers up a little bit more. Alright. That is her turn. She's going to stay right there with you. Mm -hmm. You know, sir, I'm weak to water. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, it is your turn. <clears throat> well, uh, first we're going to move on back here. Um, <laughs> maybe a little further down. Right. And, uh... I'm going to do a another silence on like centered on where she is. Okay. So I'll draw the radius, yep, but that'll be it that for in. me. That'll be it for you. Well, Jesse's freely bleeding and charred and the, uh, the zombies are toast. And if they weren't toast before, they'd be toasty now. Um, Penelope, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm going to move up to the water's edge here. And I'm going to throw what are you throwing? I'm sorry. A hand axe. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You do have that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So that's a 27. That will hit. Okay. And then that is... That's going to be 13 of damage. Okay. And let's see what else I can do. Because I can only hit her again. I have another javelin that I haven't used. So I'm going to throw that at her. Okay. <laughs> Death by flying weapons. Yep. That's a 27 again. Yep, that'll hit. And so that is a D. That's gonna be thirteen damage. Okay. Oof. Starting and to look injured. My turn. Okay. Yeah, she's starting to look hurt. Um, that armor, whatever she's doing, is not fully protecting her the way she thought it was. So she's starting to look not great. Okay. Uh, Alistair and Zane. I'm gonna grapple her. <laughs> okay. Seriously, keep her in the silence. I was just, waiting for that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, go ahead and make a, uh, an attack. This will be contested athletics versus her acrobatics. Athletics. Natural tone. Fuck. Okay. I rolled good, but not that good. All right. Yep. So you have her in a grapple. That is your action to do that. And you will not be able to do much while you have her grappled i'm gonna show her head into the water <laughs> okay still smiling brutal all right so you're gonna push her down into the water i'll let you do that as part of the grapple action um so yeah. she's gonna her here. She, yeah they're basically she's trying to drown her yeah okay so we'll have to see about that resolve uh when it gets to be her turn because she will obviously try to buck you off um, <laughs> yeah or slip out of your grasp. So, okay. Um, Zane? I just kind of rock on my feet slightly and just turn to the others and go, ah, fuck it, and sprint. And can I jump on her back? Yes. And try and force her down further? <laughs> wow, yes. We are so really I committing to this. Wow, that's, Arms that's... around her neck, weight, all full plate armor Damn. on her, and try and 
keep it down. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, what is what your mean? what is your strength modifier? Uh, strength is free. Um, it's I'm three. Okay, so with with help from um, Zane, we will when she tries to get rid of the two of you, which is going to be very difficult for her. You're going to have Alistair or Zane, whoever wants to take it, is going to have advantage on that athletics check. I have a plus five. In I have plus six, but Ooh. I also roll awful. <laughs> you have plus six? We'll see. Yep. Okay. Holy shit. So I'm proficient in it. <laughs> you're using all of your action to hold her down. Okay. Yep, I'm just hanging on to her and weighing her down. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, yeah, and in plate armor, that would be fun. Um, so she is going to try to get loose because she doesn't really... I don't think she really has anything. Oh, fuck. Maybe. I gotta look something up. Mm -hmm. a second. Fucking silence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why you don't ask other DMs to play in your game. <laughs> I was just gonna say this is a DM play, I think. <laughs> it's like yeah. in the woods. Um, all the things that I wish my players would figure out. Yeah. Oh no, it's good. And now I pass them to you. It's good. I like it. Um God, yeah, so many things are verbal. Um so many things. So many things. Yeah, that fucks a lot of. I don't have up. any nonverbal spells. <laughs> yeah, me either. I was looking when she cast it. I was like, no. Yeah. That's why I've stayed all the way outside of the sphere. Yep. Okay. I just don't have any spells because I'm just a dumb barbarian. <laughs> That's the point. Is that like it lets the it, the caster would like try to magic themselves away or like magic you dead, but like. Yeah. They can't. She can't, yeah. And she is going to, after this round, if she can't get rid of one of you, she's going to actively be drowning. Um, so, uh, okay. At this point, yeah, she's going to try to slip away. So whoever wants to roll athletics with advantage would be against her acrobatics. Who wants to take it, Alistair? Because I technically will have a better bonus, but you know my history of rolling. Yeah, Alistair's <laughs> been rolling better. Yeah, roll for it, Alistair. Go for it. Watching, so, this is the one. Pressure, pressure. Athletics. Advantage. Athletics. A natural 19. So okay. 26. Okay. She, no, 27. Uh, she didn't roll that good. So she, yeah, she's, she is going to take water in um, at the end of this round um, as she's fighting and struggling and trying to cast but can't. Um, hmm. Okay. So it would be Juzzy's turn then because she can't do anything else. Everybody gets nine hit points <laughs> as I cast prayer healing. We all gain nine. And Jesse is out of spells. Yeah, <laughs> we all gain nine. Friends, there you go. It's the one time we like you. Yep. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, chat feels a little bad for her right now because you're actively drowning her. Holy Whoa, shit! Look, she this is the most she... effective option. Drowning in fire, are particularly awful ways to go. I I'm well, not the one now I want to point out I'm not the one actively drowning. <laughs> I was gonna say drowning is actually a very play to die. It's horrible. Not when you're being held down by two people. <laughs> Just well, let go and it's relaxing. Oh that's dark. This is getting yeah, Shit. I if if she's Dying gonna room, This is the I'm the end of the round, so if she's gonna drown. I don't want to necessarily drag all that out. She's going to, yeah, she's she's now taking on water, so she's going to have only a couple of rounds before she drowns. <laughs> um, so, Penelope, it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to come out where everyone else is. Just... Oh, my God. Wow. wow. I just want to hit her. I just, I just want to hit her with... Now, I'm going to just say here, Juzzy says out into the void, <laughs> which means I told you there was a reason I was sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss is standing behind you, Juzzy, going, well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I get results. <laughs> so you're going to hit her or are you going to sit on her? I'm going to hit her. Okay, hit her. Stab her, Stab her hard. <laughs> Okay, so that is a 19. That misses. How? Oh, She's got two people pinning her down. Yeah. <laughs> Against, yeah, it misses. <laughs> Go on, <that's> nice. <laughs> what do you think she was doing with those orbs? Yeah, she was boasting her armor. 
Yeah. See, it is an effective strategy. Since I'm still in frenzy, I'm gonna. You gonna try, try it again? again? I technically should give you advantage on that, so I'll let you have it. But okay, I get advantage. I just wanted to see everyone's reaction when I <laughs> I said a nineteen didn't hit. That is a twenty-two. This that time. will just barely hit. Well, tell her to stop being so strong. <laughs> Rude. Well. I mean, we can't. We're in a zone of silence. <laughs> nope. I don't like it when Jussie meshes. <laughs> 18. 18. Okay. Yeah, she's looking looking hurt. Definitely. Oof. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, ouch. Okay. All right. Did you want to hit her again? No, I'm good. You're good? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alistair. I'm, I'm... Steve, the player, is becoming more oh. and more convinced. We just need to put her out of her misery. <laughs> I'm just holding her. Hold on. Okay. Zane? I'm, is... I'm still uh, smiling. No, exactly the same. I just, I'll just i tighten okay. my grip a bit more. <laughs> She's going to try to get loose. Um, so someone roll athletics with advantage against her acrobatics. Do I need to roll or someone? Need, yeah, you, you or Zane. You go, Alistair. Right. I would argue two of them, considering uh, there's a third person there now. This is brutal. <laughs> I'm here to help. No, the Nets are 19. Okay. Yeah, you. Yeah, she only rolled a 14, so she's not going yeah. anywhere. Um, so, Juzzy. I I think I can only get to about here. So yes. Juzzy's just gonna like wade into the water. Um, and as he does, he's going to pull out his little little crossbow that he carries oh that he God. hasn't used before. Oh. Um, but because he can't get any closer, I'm going to be honest. I just want to go up and coup de gras and like be done with the prolonged drowning sequence. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it was fun to create, but now I'm growing more and more uncomfortable by it. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I would like to get closer than this and just end it for her, but like, okay, right. I'm going to do that. Narratively, I will let temple. you do that. Just okay. temple and like, I'm going to wave at Yep. Okay. I'll allow that. She was only going to have one more round anyways, but it was going to be ugly. Um, yeah. And it's just, we're dogpiling on. This feels <laughs> weird. Let's just be done. I don't like it. Uh, I created this and I don't like as it. As Jussie shoots her, it goes right through her head. And for the briefest second, all of you can see this happen. There's this shadow that leaves her form and goes up into the air above you and then disperses. And I need everyone to make a wisdom save. Oh, what kind of okay. save? I'm sorry. Wisdom. Wisdom? Yep. There's no verbal component here. No, this is an extinction burst. A natural 20, okay. but I am going to drop the silence. Okay. Just to Dumb. Oh no. I got zero. I'm zero. dumb. I got an eight. Okay. Twelve. Okay. So everybody but Jesse's gonna take some psychic damage. That He's is so eleven points of psychic damage. Jesse, you just kind of move out of the way and it misses you narrowly. Clam clamor back on the shore. And her uh her body starts to kind of float out into the water. <laughs> As you let her go, she's just kind of over here now. Uh, oh, I'm not going to let her go. I'm going to pick her up out of the water okay. and put her next to her brother. Oh, okay. She called me pretty. <laughs> <laughs> the only she also washed you sleep. Wow. Yeah, like a creeper. Um, she wants me to sleep. <laughs> so she is no more. Uh, and as you, you all get to up on the bank of this underground lake now, you actually can see what is left of Tybalt there on the altar begins to decay very rapidly. So whatever she had, that whatever power she was using, it's gone now um, that she's deceased and he is a body once more. 
So woo wee, everybody! Wee. What a great conclusion to the end of this day. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> be praised the sake of brevity um uh, because we are well over um i want to give you all your treasure so there's 500 gold pieces on her person under her robes in kind of the like collarbone area is a scrap of you almost think it's a rag at first but it's like a scrap of hide that has infernal on it um, and it, it's, it's some kind of compact or contract that she's made with Char to give um, her heightened abilities. As I look at that, I kind of just turn to you and say, I've got work to do down here. I won't be returning to the surface with you. There's bodies to bury, and I've I'll give you a hand. It's fine. Just It'll be okay. It's a paladin's duty. Can I pocket the uh, the the bond with Shaw? Uh, if no one else wants it, yeah. Jazzy's like, I can conduct funerary rites in the in any uh, divinity you want. That's worrying. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you're desperate for it, I will give you the. Uh, I'm always deal, desperate but... to help. I'll. I would quite like it, but if you want it, you can take. It. Yeah, I will. I will help. <laughs> wow. Um, it, it's you have to kind of find a way out of here, and you eventually do. Um, and you come up through those of you who are not staying down here. You come up through what's left of the house, which is not much. <laughs> <laughs> some it's of it survived because there was some a lot of stone on the house but the rest of it is toast and as you emerge from the ruins you see like half of the village standing there shocked that you're just is like coming yeah he's right up front yeah he pulls you out of the rubble and like what the hell happened oh, oh yeah I killed things it's hot <laughs> We're gonna throw down, right? Of course. Cool. He just kind of like grabs you by the hand and pulls you away. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just waiting for somebody to help me up. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Rira comes over and pulls you out and um, helps you up and tries to. She's just like shell shocked that the house is burnt and kind of startled by the whole thing. Um, there were insinuating circumstances that happened. I don't want to know. I I think maybe later you can tell me, but I just is it done? Is it over? It's over. We the problem has expired. Right. Good. Well, my sister will be thrilled because she was trying to figure out what was going on and. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> just kind of, like, just stunned. Um, but the village of Havenstown is free from its influence. Um, Zane and Jezzy, while you are down there, as our last little note, uh, Faviana's body starts to also decay very quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and as mm -hmm. you watch it turn to the skin melt and then the flesh start to burn and then just bones left, all you hear in the backs of your minds is, I don't die that easily. Ooh. And we will stop there. Ba -da. Damn. <laughs> Jazzy makes a raspberry, but that's. There you go. <laughs> um. We're way over time. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Who wants to know what Jazzy's deal is? Because I can't do this again. It's too oh. much, man. <laughs> Please explain. So, all right. Oh, the God. basic idea is that there's demons, right? Because he's speaking in abyssal, and his alignment is chaotic evil. Uh, Which was why if I'd had the old school fourth edition, I would have yeah. mad. <laughs> Immediately. Um. So he's a trickster cleric. So you were talking to the double upstairs. 
while he was lighting the fire, he did polymorph into a giant octopus. That part was totally true. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so he moved all the shit around to make like a huge fire. <laughs> Explaining it out loud is hilarious. Wow. But so the basic, the god, the, the power that Jutsu serves is the demon where they send other demons to get punished. And you can't like punish a demon with torture, right? You have to be like super nice to him and you like let him play with puppies and they go to the beach. There's, and, like, kittens. there's kittens involved. It's just like, I call him the Lord of Unicorns and Sunshine. Um, I love that you're cracking yourself up this much. <laughs> I love my own jokes so much. <laughs> That's what's Jesse's. That's Jesse's wow. deal. Wow. 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 Oh. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Thank you. It's he messaged based me with that, and I was just like, fuck you, man. <laughs> Have you ever met that person, like, at work or at school that you're just like, you're too fucking nice. Like, you're just too, there's something up your, this is an act. This is all fake, and you probably are like a serial killer. Like, you're too nice. It's normally That's me. That's what Jazzy is. <laughs> oh. I get what accused of being a robot regularly at work, especially when I'm on the phone with customers. They're just like, Are you a robot? And it's like, No, I'm a human person. And they go, <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what the robot recording. would say. Like, well, I have a really nice phone voice when I'm like, Ah. Oh. Uh, oh all right, we will we will let our, our audience go. Thank you for everyone for watching. Thank you for sticking with us because I know we ran over. Thank you, my players, for my running through my weird ass adventure. I don't know what the fuck this is. To be honest with you, I have no idea. Never expected someone to I don't think that drowner. this was supposed to how this was go. I don't think this was supposed to go in a lot of different levels. Oh no! I don't know that a giant octopus was supposed to set the house on fire. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if we were supposed to create like a vaguely Amazing. graphic drama sure. sequence. Sure, sure, <laughs> yep, all of it, all of the above. Welcome to D and D, everyone. And, Somebody uh, planted the seed. This is how this works. So uh, we will uh, catch us tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, for our next campaign game. But if you're interested in this adventure, uh, it's up on Drive Through RPG. It was pay what you want the entire month of October, but it's not October anymore. So now you have to pay. For it. Uh, <laughs> sorry about it I, listen a lot of people downloaded it and I'm glad you did but now fucking pay me so there we go um, and we'll see you all later bye everybody <laughs>